All right, so All right, we, know, we know what happened last week. You guys were busting up a little bit of a Black Sun criminal organization type thing. And I believe the celebration has ensued since. We have uh, Geraldo busting a beat to WD-40's uh, music. And we have a hut crime lord bobbing away to that. And we have everybody else sitting over in the bar as well as everybody else, uh, the other two meeting in the bar, which we caught up with in Epic Words during the week. Oh, and Jesus. Okay. So you guys go ahead and take off from where you are at at this point. Minky, that's messed up, man. He, try he tried to execute my droid, like with trial by combat in the pit. Yeah, well, I, I'm, uh, let's see, I'm just here yeah, musicking. So, Minky, please uh, use. Feel free to use the tablet to cue up your current uh, track. Uh, Geraldo chooses my music. Go, Geraldo. Yeah, I think he's grabbing some food or drink or something. Oh, I thought that was a joke. No, he's li he's literally grabbing food or drink. I thought the joke was it's like once you started. Okay, so in the in the uh, forum there, I believe Borden's uh, uh, communicator had gone off. Oh uh, yeah. You know you're a redneck when you drink wine from a jar. Or, or Carillion ale from a jar, as it were. Um, I guess after the communicator, I just continue writing well, the C R E the C E R document until I get finished. Okay, the comm that you receive, uh, you, you received that information from the last forum, right? Right, yeah, yeah, I oh. saw it. Okay, so you know that you're being requested to meet in the office. Oh, yeah. We're assuming that the party's gone on through the evening and it's now actually early morning at this time. Who's doing forum, you get check. Is that a dance check? That's a dance check. Okay, I was making sure I added the blue correctly. Yeah, what, what forum are you guys on about? Epic words. Oh, you left um, before we started talking about it. We have a forum where you can do RP between the week. My bad. After the session, I'll link you to it and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's. Oh, that's four advantage. success, three advantage, four advantage. Four advantage, yeah. <clears throat> so the, on stage. the beat continues. And. Uh, Timo is obviously, you can see him just eating away, he's enjoying himself. It's actually an oddball night tonight, there's not as many people as normal, but he's still being entertained by the fact that we have uh, this Geraldo dancer going crazy out here with this droid. It's entertaining enough. <coughs> so what's everyone else doing? Uh, I'll be chilling at the bar, and I'll say, I'll be like, ah, oh, it's nice catching up with you. I'm going to hop out for a little bit. I'm going to leave the palace for a little bit. Okay. 4D. And I'll say what I'm doing when everyone else does their thing. 4D and Jakar, what are you guys up to? Well, 45 just wants to comment to Jakar that the last time we were in this place wasn't a very good time. I believe you were all uh, spending the evening inside of the jail cells of the hut and I was chained to Timo as his personal droid, so I don't feel very comfortable here. Yeah, I don't, like consider, I don't like it one bit. I'll probably consider getting out of here as soon as possible before we're forced to fight to the death again. You guys, are, like you guys are free to leave, but just as a side note, you do notice uh, Timo looking over towards you. He's, he's having a bit of a recollection of who you are. Obviously, he thought you for yeah. dad. He only has eyes for you. So, so 45 is going to hide behind Jack Rar here. Uh, yeah, let's kind of like a uh, crab walk out of here around the this this way. My, yeah, yeah. Or can we get out that way? Yeah, whatever, yeah. We're going Where are you that. going? The party's just started. <laughs> and that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. So you gentlemen at the bar. I'll be enjoying some oil, I assume. Mm -hmm. Where's the bar? 
Oh, the bar's over here where he's dancing. I love a Carillion Firewater. One Carillion <laughs> Firewater coming up. Neat. Neat! That's in the glass, right? Sure, space tumbler, glass, I don't care. It's one in my body. Very well, then. Places the drink down. Thank you, sir. And you, droid? Do you drink? Mm. Of one half quart, 40 weight. One half a quart, 40 weight. I'll go into the back to get that. On the rocks. He curls out, takes off into the back. Going back to the drum of oil. <laughs> he's gone for a bit. Man, that, her that Geraldo, he's really something else. Look at him go. Okay, so the droid returns. 140 weight. Sets her on the table. On the rocks. It's all like thick and congealed and starting to get uh, a little bit of uh, brown bubbles in it. 45 takes that and generally applies it to his servos, trying to get the sand out. Okay, so you you would, you, you would gain back any uh, a wound, if you will, oh, from let me, let me help you get your if back you had any. It's hard for you to reach back there. Thank him, boss. So again, Bowden's uh, calm goes off. Do 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 do. Mr. Bowden, uh, I am currently waiting for you. Not yet. Uh, have I received my drink yet that I'd ordered? I'm guessing. Uh, yes, you would have. have you oh, okay, okay. In that case, I would just finish off the, le uh, the last sentence and get up and walk out. Okay. Turning my calm on silent, because I uh, had forgotten to do that, apparently. Okay, so you can make your way back towards the the uh, main the office, barrack. the barrack office, correct. Yeah. So you guys can go ahead and role play what you're doing here, and I'm going to go do a side role play with Borden on a channel 2 on Discord. Wow, be that <laughs> so, who's the striker? The Riker guy? Okay, there we go. Okay, so you make your way into the uh, barracks over here. Yep. And as you enter in, you uh, stormtrooper steps forward, he opens the door for you. And you come in, and you have the scene the same. You see the same Imperial officer sitting there in the chair before you. He's like, "Please take a seat." I'll oblige him and take a seat. He sits back in his chair. He can looks at you. You and your friends have made some serious enemies, I'd say. Black Suns, not to be taken lightly. I nod. Continue listening. I'll tell you what, I wish to make you an offer. You and your entourage, I'd like to offer you asylum within the folds of the mighty empire. We'll be able to protect you. Does this interest you? Yeah, uh, I continue nodding, just continue listening. Okay, but this, you know, this comes at a price, of course. So I have, I have an, uh, an, op an opportunity, a proposition, if you will. I need you to do a simple transport job. Doesn't sound like much, but I'll be asking. Uh, yourself, why would the Empire need us to transport things? It's, it's not that simple. There are a few villages left on Kashyyyk. You understand why Kashyyyk is the home of the Wookiee world? You understand? Yes. That? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, there are a few villages left on Kashyyyk that have eluded our presence. We use the Wookiees for their labor purposes. They're strong, powerful, very compliant. They're also skilled uh, with electronics. Uh, and for the most part, it's not a major issue as of yet, but recently there's been an incident where as a group of rebel Wookiees, if you will, have been causing more trouble than is needed. And honestly, we need them to be dealt with. So, coming full circle, what we would have you do, you and your group of course, is to travel to Kashyyyk and deliver a young Wookiee to his family. In doing so, we would have your ship traced to their location which would give us 
the information that we need to find this last little group that's really causing us issues. Uh, the young Wookiee is of a noble family, though. His name is Drum Navagan, something along those lines. I don't speak Wookiee very well. Anyways, our spies have found him poking around the city looking for passage to Kashyyyk. There seems to be a lack of interest in traveling to Kashyyyk from our local spacers. He smirks at you. Uh, you will befriend him and maybe offer him a ride, and we will figure out some way to pay you some credits of some sort. Does this sound agreeable to you? I'm just listening, and I'd, I'd be nodding, and I'd take a moment to just sort of pause and think. Oh, God, um... This rebellion, how, how serious is it? Well, we want full control. And as you understand, the Wookiees are a powerful race, and... Well, we do not fully need their labors. We have enough labors at this point, but I have word from the High Arcs, the Emperor, if you will. <laughs> Although I don't speak to him personally, I've never actually seen him. But from what my understanding is, is he's got a project that's big on the horizon, and they want to secure more labor. So we need to start picking at all our points throughout the galaxy, not within, not just within Kashyyyk, but. It's just an opportunity for you to continue your your skills, uh, bringing your skills. You, uh, your group is very skillful, and we would like to continue what you're doing. And with you as their leader, I feel that you can get this job done for us. This uh, this nobleman does he have any enemies of any kind? Any any reputation? Anybody who uh, else other than uh, I guess the Empire itself, anybody who might have taken an interest in him? Um, none that I would know of, but uh, we, like I say, we know of who he is based on the fact that he's been poking around. We like to run people's names and get an idea for who they are, and we've traced this person back, and he is part of a family, this noble family that is on Kashyyyk. Now, he may have people after him. I can't, ta spouch, I can't uh, vouch for that. But I can assure you that with the Empire at your back, you have a you shouldn't have to worry too much. I'd continue nodding, and then I'd say, "By the way, I have the reports." Before I uh, continue on, and I'm gonna pull them out of a, a pack I have on my back and take out two CRE reports, criminal engagement reports, and place them in front of him. The one on the left is from the. Uh, the first mission I was sent out to capture, uh, I, you know, and as I had the ID attached to the form of, I, God, I can't remember his name, but the crazy doctor. Yeah. Okay. And then I, yeah, and then I uh, say all the details of what happened there, and that form basically details uh, me riding out there, taking on a speeder and a couple of basic materials for capture, and then getting captured myself, and then being rescued by a couple of groups. Before I could interrogate and find out information about him in connection to the Black Sun, it also uh, just says that he was killed by either one of his captives or an unknown suspect of some sorts, or something, someone who he had wronged within his process. And the entire facility has been basically demolished and exploded by some gas leak of some kind. And then the paper on the right, the other CRE, details the terrorist attack on the water supply done by the Black Sun. It goes through everything, and hold on, I have the details written down right here. Uh, five engagements with, uh... I lost you for a sec. Darren, you still there?
How rude. Okay, I, I lost uh, connection with Pope Darren for a minute, but how are things going back in the in the bar here? Uh, Geraldo is now dancing across the bar. Oh, Lord. Just knocked over 45's <laughs> drink. All the oil spills all over the floor. He slips a little bit. So how? Hey, uh, Yodex, wait, are you going to be here I, for a second? I uh, follow him up. Until Darren connects thing. me, yes. Hey, so... The music so in there. Uh, could you possibly facilitate a little bit of trading, uh, on my end? Sure. He grabs right. WD-40, pulls him up onto the bar, and starts <laughs> dancing with him up there. <laughs> so I was gonna go, like, to the, uh, off-world traders, or, like, the market area yep. of town. And I was gonna, I'm gonna walk up to the sketchiest looking place I can find. Oh, uh, hey, what happens? Are you back, Darren? Hello? Uh, yeah, what happens? I uh, oh, no, you went... I couldn't hear anything oh. you were saying. So. Oh my bad. Can I can I tell you again? I was just. Oh, okay. What well, Yodex? We'll figure this out when you guys get back. I'm so time. sorry. Okay. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll pop back into the room. Bam. Okay. I'm sorry. I have no idea what happened. But um, what what was the last thing I had said? That you. Uh, you were talking about your collection or your information that you had found on the. Oh, you were talking about the water facility and giving your, re your report okay. on that. Yeah, uh, just five engagements, two uh, taken down by me, one taken down by Imperial soldiers, one had escaped, one had run inside, attempted to hack the water supply, unsuccessful, was apprehended by Marshal Borden Sartorius. Uh, during under control, Imper Imperial control and jurisdiction, she was murdered by Timo, Kanan, who had, suspect Kanan, who had been apprehended after firing upon Timo, had fully cooperated within the investigation, uh, had was the one who brought up information of terrorist attack for its prevention, and uh, had fired back on Timo in basically self-defense after the murder of the Bothan, or base as assumably his wife. And it ends the report with a small important notice at the very bottom, stating that uh, asking for permission for me, uh, Marshal Borden Sartoris, to investigate Timo for possible links with the Black Sun and other criminal organizations after suspiciously silencing and murdering uh, a suspect under Imperial control. And that's basically the whole document. Okay, so he, he per, you can see him scanning through all this. He leans back and he raises his index finger and his thumb to his chin and his forehead as he sits there and he's reading through it, looking it all over. It's, everything is very quiet. He stops, he puts the data pad back down on the table, puts his feet back down. You know what? You seem like the man. You are very thorough. I like your style. I like the fact that you were able to get the job done. And I have all the information that I need. None of this half ass crap that I've been dealing with lately. I really feel that you're the one for Kashyyyk. And I do want you to investigate Timo. I want to know everything that's going on here. Our, my superior has had issues with him in a recent sail barge uh, situation that ended badly out in the desert. And I do feel that the Black Sun is going to be having an issue with you. Should an issue arise, I'm going to give you personal information here. I'm going to give you this contact that you can simply push this button and it will send out a scramble code to the nearest Imperial relay station and we will be trying to assist you as quick as possible or get someone to you. Because I feel that you're an asset and I think that, yeah, you're going to get this job done. Do you, do you concur with that? I not to say thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that, and I would be happy to accept the job. Uh, so, just to specify again, the track will be placed on the ship. Uh, that's that's right. In the cargo hold, we're going to have a couple of uh, the Imperial uh, uh, technicians. They're going to go in, and they're going to set up the transponder code. It'd be nice if there wasn't any of the, you know, the local techs know what's going on and stuff. We'd like to get the job done, keep everything as discreet as possible. We can also supply you with transponder information so that when you do arrive at Kashyyyk, I will tell you there will be forces there. I'd be prefer if you do not talk about this with others. I'd prefer if they feel a little sense of pressure. Mm -hmm. But but there is going there is a blockade currently at Kashyyyk, so you will be coming across the Imperial Star Destroyer, uh, the Lucky. Uh, sorry, I don't have a name for that, but <laughs> you can. That's fine. You can give me one, and. Uh, so there's an Imperial Star Destroyer there, and you will be receiving questions when you get there. 
I do have. A, I will be giving you current information, so if the code is good. You should be able to pass. Okay, uh, and I will continue nodding. I'll be like, so what will happen after the uh, af after we arrive within the rebel colony, and the uh, you basically get the location of it. It's what a si we'll simple drop off. I'll pay you ten thousand credits now. You'll get twenty thousand when you return. You drop the person. We'll receive the information. All you do is power down the ship. When the ship is powered down. You will. Uh, we'll know that that is your final location, and that will be taken as our spot. We will deal with things from there. I'll nod. I'll say okay. Uh, is there any more information I can get about uh, this uh, the Wookiee planet, or do you have any documents stating any kind of dangers that would be posted there in case something were to go awry? All I can say is, don't go below the treetops. Just stay above the treetops. The forest floor is extremely dangerous. Uh, hold on. I will. I guess I will accept. I will accept the uh, job. I'll be happy to do this. Um, so he reaches forward to give you a handshake. I reach forward and shake his hand firmly. Okay. I, I'm not going to turn and be like, uh, where? Is, uh, how long have you been serving within the Empire? If you don't mind me asking, sir. <laughs> I'm totally pulling this out of my ass, but <laughs> he's uh. I've been serving for ten years. Ten Over years. ten years. That's right. I'll, I'll nod. I'm stationed anywhere else before this, if you don't mind answering. Well, I made my way through the inner inner rings in the Carillion sector, but uh, I had a little bit of a misgiving, and uh, they gave me a post out here. We'll say uh, I I made a bit of a mistake. Got caught up in some bad situations with with the boys. But uh, as penalty, they forced me to stay out here in this bit of a sand sand pit. Uh, well, there are much worse places. After being stationed out the frontier for a bit, I've I've seen my fair share of uh, the horrors of war. But I wish you very well, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, after I was apprehended um, while on the fr on the first mission, I lost a lot of my equipment except for my special firearm. Is there any way I could pick up things like a data pad and a couple of binders in case I might need them for later? I'm, t I'm out of credits right now as those have also been robbed. Of so me. all you need is a simple data pad and a set of binders? A simple data pad, uh, two binders, and a bullet net. And a bullet net? Yeah, bullet net. And well, he snaps his fingers. And he has the uh, one of the stormtroopers walks over and he's like, give him your cuffs. So the stormtrooper gives you uh, a set of cuffs and he slides the data pad over to you. He's like, the bullet head, I, I don't have any of that right now. But Unders That's understandable. I think you'll be able to make do with what I've given you here. Absolutely. Uh, it should be very simple enough. Uh, I will need to ask of one other thing. I These people that you have met with me have only, I've only known them for a short time and I they probably do not trust me very much. So I do need a form of a... I, I will need a reason to be going with them that I that they will know about personally. But would, what would I... Is there any kind of documentation you could give me that would at least give me an excuse for why I should be riding with them? <laughs> You're throwing me on the spot on that one. I don't... What do you think would be a good answer for that? Um, I, I don't know. Like, base, I, 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 I guess after... <laughs> I mean, you can run. You can run with the fact that you guys are just buddies and hanging out together, but you may end up walking to the ship, and then all of a sudden they throw the hand ex in your face. Ex exactly. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean, I'm an imperial marshal that they just found out about. That's why. I, I guess I would request documentation too. Maybe a after they have encountered with a black sun, our reputation might be known, and they might need some protection of some sorts. Which, and I might. And also the sense sense of camaraderie as well. No, not true. Well, uh, thank you but, very much. For but you got to remember too that the Black Sun are looking for you. Uh, of this, I have no control over. Uh, uh, is this because of an in-character reason, uh, Yodex? I'm not, uh, or I don't know if this has been explained. No, no, no. The Black Sun, because the uh, the little um, guy that they are taking shots at that was watching you guys foil the Black Sun. Oh. He is a spy, a spy, and he has yeah. made made reports. 
Yes. And he has Sorry. pictures and information of your faces. Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. All right. Um, I say, well, thank you very much, officer. I appreciate everything, and I'll get on that. I'll get on the case right now. Uh, and where exactly do you know where this noble is, nobleman is again? Where can I find him? Well, I say nobleman, but that's the technical version. When you see him, you the last thing you'll think is noble. You'll find him. There's not many Wookiees walking around here. He'll be the one begging for a ride down around the spaceports. Either try Landing Bay Arc or Landing Bay Bash. He'll be at one or the other. Somewhere in the area. You'll find him. Okay. Oh, no, and I'll say thank you very much. Definitely keep it on the low key. We don't want anyone knowing that we're dealing with the Empire here. Okay. Uh, I'll nod and signal. I'll give him the stand up and give him the old Imperial salute that soldiers would use and then proceed to walk out. Okay. So let's pop back in the regular room. Alright. Yeah. You just pop my cherry too. I mean. Okay. Yodex that, joined in, in, a, in my room that yo, night? Yo, Yodex, I can explain. <laughs> he joined at a very odd time. Pop, pop a cherry. It's about Jesus popping our cherry. Oh. You okay, so you, Jesus. so you said you wanted to. Uh, <laughs> a beard. So you're saying you <laughs> wanted to. You know, like this guy. <laughs> so Krell wanted to do some trading, Dad? correct? <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> Alright, so I go to the sketchiest fool that I can find in the, this trading so you walk up place. to Geraldo? <laughs> no, no. Not in the bar. And I, I'm, I, uh, I'm like, hey, I'm looking to make a deal. Okay. He looks at you and he's, I, uh, he's a, uh, a uh, what do you call those green skins there? A Rhodium. He's like, oh, I can go, I can go, yeah, I can go. And I give, I slap down that uh, slug thrower rifle, and I give it to him for thorough inspection, so he can see how just how valuable they're. Okay, so he's looking it over, pulls the bolt back, looking through the barrel and stuff. I'm with him. Shit. <laughs> So he looks at I'm you like, and. Do so you guys have no way of interpreting it to him, right? I, I pull a guy off the street. I'm like, anyone here speak Rodian? Uh, yeah, yeah I could help you out. I work with uh, speak Rodian. Yeah. I'm like, hey, man, can you tell me? Can you tell me what this dude's saying? Yeah. Uh. 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 My Rodian's not so good, but. Well, I was going to say that I would be with him, and I assume that I would drag my droid with me. Well, yeah, I'm right. also it's up, it's up to you guys. Well, as he's doing that, we can say that you come strolling by. Yeah. Because I want to do some shopping as well. All right, drag yourself down here with me then, I guess. Where I'm at. But before that happens, uh, Yodex, I have a question. You're here? Oh, hey, 45. Uh, you're just the guy I was looking for. Um... Okay, shoot the, shoot the, hold on, we're, we're gonna shoot the question on science rat first. Oh, uh, can, can I shoot this chandelier above Timo? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make that the reference. Up continuity. That was last game. Get over it. You guys didn't do it. You failed. Okay, so you guys, uh, you got 45 shows up. You don't need this other guy anymore. But he, he continues to linger around. No, he's just hanging there. He's like watching. Oh. I'm not stopping him. He's a good dude. Yeah, I want to see what this gun goes for. All right, you can chill here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear right, him chewing, he chewing on his gums <laughs> over your shoulder. I'm okay, like so the Rod the Rodian's looking back and forth. He's like, "Man, nah, I'll offer you 100 credits for this." Wow. Okay, no, I'm like. I just give him a look of pure disbelief. I'm like, okay. You're talking about the regular slug thrower rifle? Or are you talking about the, the gifted? No, the one that's worth 5,000. Oh, the, oh, the gifted one. I thought you were just talking about a standard oh, slug yeah, thrower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, so you're talking about like the mother of pearl inlay and all that. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about like Santana's axe kind of thing. Yeah, the. Uh, I did sell my extra slug thrower for that 100 credits, so. though. Okay, you can do so, yeah. So he starts looking it over and starts looking at the inlays and stuff and starts rubbing his, his little 
snouse, if you will. <laughs> you can see bits of snot on the end of his finger. His tubule. <laughs> yeah. He's like, meow, 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 meow. He gives you, he's offering you 2,200 credits for it. I, I look at him again. I'm like, all right, I'm attempted to deceive him. I uh, am. That's negotiation, I think. No, if the way I'm doing it. If you're going to lie to him, it's deceiving him. Oh, okay. I'm lying to him. I'm like, listen, this thing is over 750 years old. And. It's been passed down from generation to generation in my family, and I feel like I wouldn't part at it, part with it for anything less than five thousand. This thing's worth easily about eight thousand credits. <laughs> I'm gonna try to deceive him. What's the difficulty on that? Okay, just give me one second. Just pop on a rodian up here. So it's going to be a red and a, a red and a purple. Uh oh, oh triumph and a despair. But wow. ultimately a success though, right? Because you have <laughs> you got two success and a threat. <laughs> you can see him. He begins pulling more and more to snout. You can see he's getting obviously flustered. He, d he knows the value of this thing, There's no but he, he doesn't want to pay it to you. You can see and he, he pulls his hands down and the boogers just stretch down to his fingers as he puts his suction cup fingers <laughs> back down on it. <laughs> Alright, so the triumph is... Um, God, I don't know. They wouldn't Maybe cancel he... each other out? No, no they no, don't. No. Nothing cancels on those. Well, I guess first tell me what your despair is, so I can make the triumph related to that. He won't pay a ridiculous amount of money, but he knows it's worth a lot. Okay, the despair is, as you guys are making this negotiation, the stormtroopers come into the uh, building around you, and everyone gets extremely uneasy as they begin walking around and they're talking to people. Is this the person right okay. here? No. Okay. You, there. Come here. We'd like to talk to you. They're just starting to interrogate the other officers and stuff. Or, not officers, like, sorry, people around. I look at the roadie and I'm like, man, we gotta make this deal happen quick if we're gonna do it. And with the triumph, I feel like he, he would believe me more than I originally intended. And he thinks or, this thing's worth at least 50. He, he's, wait, what's, what's the or? I was gonna say, or, um, he won't give you cash, but maybe store credit. So we couldn't well, get- Well, no, that, the despair is the stormtroopers. So the triumph would be like- That's what I was saying, the triumph. I feel like the- well, how does store credit help me over the other, over cash? Well, you've, got a, so, you've got a full amount, you can just take it out to all in weapons. Uh. Right, so if you're at a weapon vendor, you can get only weapons if you're at a, you know, you're not, you couldn't just spend those credits to get armor and weapons, and maybe it's just the one thing. But you might okay. get, maybe you might more. get a little more store credit than you would, you know, like a pawn shop. Store I credit, look you at can always get your boss rifle. I'm like, alright, alright. What if I give you this, and you gave me, say, a, uh, Heavy blaster rifle with a sling, and what? what and then I look at uh, Jack Gerard Forty Five. I'm like, this thing's worth a lot of money. What? What would you guys want? Uh, I feel like we should uh, get on the comms and kind of ask everybody, but we can do a little shopping bit here. I also want a heavy blaster with a sling. If that's uh, something that's within the uh, margins. What you you there? To I'd you? like to talk to you for one second. You guys hear this right behind you. And uh, the hand reaches out and grabs the dude that's looking over your shoulder. Whoa, 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 oh. what, what do I want there? You could hear the Imperials are standing right behind you now talking to this person. Alright, I'm like, let's make this fast. Two heavy blaster rifles with a sling. Deal? Oh, kip, kip. All right, kip, kip. So we're gonna have to roll negotiations on that. Okay. Uh, would be the difficulty on that. Uh, two purple for you. But I'm, I'm gonna upgrade one, or flip one of these guys, and we'll make that a red. A red and a purple. Um, because of the charismatic presence of the droid, I'm also can, assisting uh, him. can I get his ranks? Um, 
Okay. Would you like me to you do got the negotiation two, for you? We got two people doing this. This. Uh, so who is going to give you the assi assisting? Does anybody uh, have I, a rank in negotiation? I do not. Yeah. Okay. What's what your do you negotiation? got? Negotiation. What's in here? Oh shit! We were supposed to redo your your um sheet, Mac. Because you're missing stuff. Oh no. <laughs> Oh dear. Do you not have a good negotiation? I have three greens, but that's it. Oh, uh, so we'll just get, then you're a boost die. Oh, yeah. Don't negotiation. Yeah. One yellow, two greens. Nope. Okay, okay. So we're gonna. So you're both boost put, dice then. One of these two. No, 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 no. Well, because no, um, how it works oh. is it's characteristics and ranks. If so if he has a higher characteristic, then you would take that as your base three, and then we take your rank. So how it is is but you guys, you both have the same. Uh, so all he does is give you a, you guys both get one boost from each person. Because nothing's added, it's only just, it's the same. That ultimately succeeded with a threat. Okay. Um, the threat, so, I, what were you asking for? You wanted how much money from him? Uh, not money. We wanted to just make a straight up trade with two heavy blaster rifles, both equipped with a sling. And that's a total of 3,200 credits for that. So he stops yeah. for a second. You can see his boogery fingers, and he reaches around. He grabs his two weapons. He's like, poof, poof, slaps them down. Grabs. The, you can see he quickly grabs a cloth and wraps it over the over your rifle and slides it onto his desk down below him and starts trying to shove it underneath while the Imperials are talking to the dude behind you. I grab my rifle and sling it over my shoulder, and um, then I hand the other rifle to Jack Roar. I'm like, well, I think we made out like bandits. Excuse me, we'd like to talk to you for a second. I'm not interested in your <laughs> in your religion. Thank you. I I I'm I like, didn't talk uh, about no religion. I, I, I go up to, I go up to the storm chair. I'm like, yes. Let's see your papers, please, and registration for being here on Narshada, or. <laughs> what, what, uh, what the I hell is this place called? Stormtrooper. Uh, <laughs> Mas Shuta. That's it. Yes. All right. So I've been all over the galaxy. Sorry. I'm uh, yeah, uh, drinking I, on the job. Uh, I, I go uh, to him and I'm like, I give him our temporary papers that we got. So he looks them over and the system. yeah, Hold you're that. good. You're good. Everyone seems to be good. All right, move along. Move along. Can I can I stay here if I want? I'm still shopping. Um, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I I walk back to the bar and see what's Most going on. Most usually move along. I plop back down at the bar. Okay. At this point, Timo's not here though. We'll have him out because it's actually daytime now. Is the hut? Is the pa I mean, is the palace like especially guarded right now? Um, there's normal guards. There's lots of Garmians around. Other than that, there's nothing unusual. Hmm. Um, you do have a, a droid approaches uh, Geraldo here. Oh, why, well, yeah. Hello, mighty dancer. I am here to present you with a gift from the illustrious Timo. Oh? He wishes to give you these credits of 1,000 for your dancing skills. Uh, why, fantastic. And, and he, he wishes to hire you in a permanent position. Geraldo like stops before taking the credits and he narrows his eyes if I take the credits does that mean I'm accepting his offer his offer would be much grander than merely 1000 credits it would be more than you can imagine you will see the galaxy you will travel you will have unlimited females or males, if you will, or whichever. Plus, credits will become non-issue for you. Essentially, he will be setting you up as a life part of his entourage. Hmm. You know, I heard that same thing, and I still haven't received my credits. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Well, good thing I have this handy dandy chance cube right up my butt. And I'm gonna pull out a chance cube. 
the droid would like to call red. <laughs> red eyes work for the hut. Blue eye up. Well. <laughs> GG, oh. Geraldo. Hi, Geraldo. New character. Oh, well, look, it's blue. Well then, I guess... You know, that sounds like quite the promise. Hey, hey, I could be capable for Rick, the rest I... of my life. You do, not, well, was... you do not have to take this job immediately. If you do wish so, you can approach the administrative desk and register for a permanent position. Hmm. You know what? The offer has been presented. I am no longer needed. He turns and rolls away. Hmm. What do you think, WD-40? I wouldn't leave without you. Well, I guess at this point, whatever you do, I do. No, I don't necessarily own you completely. I just... Mm. He reaches a hand out. Own your body and mind. <laughs> but I don't own your soul. You can't dance to like a beatbox. That's a very sweet sentiment. You guys are having a touching moment. Geraldo caresses his face. His, uh, his, his shiny metal face. As I was showing up, like, little maneuvers, I was, like, listening to that conversation. Cause it aroused my attention. It aroused you? Yes. <laughs> I'm touching myself right now. But, um... I'm <laughs> I, I, I leaned over to Riker and I'm oh sorry, I didn't mean to flip Riker. I'm like, I think the kid just sold out to the huts. I'm sorry, I'm back. Alright, All right, I whisper to Riker, I lean over to him and I'm like, Hey, I'm thinking uh Geraldo just sold out to the huts. I also see Geraldo what? standing there with like a shit ton of money in his hands. And then I like gesture with my head over to uh, him hit seeing it through with a bunch of money. He's, he's now dancing up on stage and he's rubbing the thousand credits yeah. across his body suggestively. It, it's, well, I guess it, it's, it's my gone. cue to get paid. I'm making it rain. Then, I just pick him up. And, and then I uh, motion over to Riker. I'm like, hey, check out what I just picked up. And I kind of pull on the sling around my shoulder. A lucky bastard. Where'd yeah, you pick I just, that up. Uh, down at the market, I just bullshitted a dumb Rodian, <gasps> thinking that rifles were for the a dumb Rodian. Wow. It's <laughs> pretty great. Actually, I got two of them for that blast, that slug thrower. <laughs> Rodians can't stand looking at them for more than then he kind of stops and looks around the bar. Well, uh, I just, I just don't like looking at them. It's a really good well, well, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How rude it's it's, the I like to think that um that so, the so just I just to interrupt here quickly um Bo Borden your comm goes off and you're oh, okay sorry so we're just gonna pop back into the room for a second while you guys are doing right. stuff I like to think it's the same one that Soul made go make Okay, so your comm goes off, and you are um, being asked to open the ship up, essentially, so that the Imperial crews can go in and do their work at this point. Okay. Um, do I have another the code for the ship? Or uh, I, I don't think anybody put any serious codes on the ship, did they? Uh, I think they handed it over, so if it's not locked by the people at the dock, docking area, I don't think it would be locked. No, the, ship, the ship wasn't impounded for any reason. Oh. Because you were, you had, you just had to apply for clearance codes and or okay. new transponder codes. Okay, then yes, uh, I'd go over. I I would start walking over there and I'd see if I'd do exactly as they asked for. Okay, so you see a, a group of imperial officers walking along with their blue bin and they slide it up inside, and they begin working away inside there. You can see them doing a bit of a couple arc welders working away. They're attaching this thing permanently to the inside of a hull. Inside Paul, of of a compartment. Okay, uh, and this is within the this is within the ship itself. This isn't like air from the outside. This is inside the ship, yeah. Okay, inside of the uh, which room exactly? 
to be in. Like, on the map. Uh, we're gonna put it in, um, this area right here. This area right here? Yeah. Okay, I'll, a I'll ask one of them who's, uh, since there's three and two, only two of them are working, I'll look over to the other one and say, uh, is there any recording equipment other than a tracker in there I should know of? He just looks up at you and he's like, yeah, we're just installing a tracker here. That's it. Okay. Okay, you want to give me a difficult perception check. Okay. Here we go. Difficult perception check. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to upgrade one of those, so you're going to be... So, uh, all right, so I have this thing that allows me... It It states that... Uh, let, me bring, let me bring this up really fast. For the marshal, there's this thing called... Uh, Skeptic. Oh, hold on. I have to scroll down the Og dudes and uh, unrelenting skeptic. And what it does is it says that when an uh, enemy tries to roll a deception roll or any creature rolls a deception roll against me, they automatically get two failures. Ba well, they automatically get failures based on my vigilance. Okay, well, he's not trying to deceive you, we're just seeing how perceptive you are. So, this is just perception. This is okay. Yeah. So this okay. This doesn't have anything to do with that. All he's, right. not, he's not lying to you at all. Oh, okay. Let's see. Please, God. Okay. So you do not notice anything unusual. Everything seems mm -hmm. to be good. They're welding away at the deck, and everything looks to be good. Okay. Nothing seems unusual from what you see. All right. I mean, that could have been an arbitrary perception check too. I, I mean, so. yeah. I I I gotta play the role. Yeah. Okay. So at this point, we're gonna I'm gonna go back to what they're doing inside the uh, inside the hut palace. But as far as you're concerned, everything is going according to plan. They're hooking up the night sister with the uh, information, the transponder or the tracking beacon. Okay. I'll just be after this. I'll be outside the ship, outside the uh, dockyard, standing at the edge, leaning on a building, waiting for anybody to come by within the party. But that's just what I'll be doing. Okay. Hmm. He's owned by the huts now. I mean, that is my ship. Okay, I'm Our back. ship. I'm fairly certain I called myself Captain Gerardo. You guys are just the spooky bunch. Look, man, if you're working with the huts, you don't need transportation. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Is this going to turn out to be like fucking, uh... Did you guys ever watch Firefly? That one, uh... Hooker comes on the ship, the entourage. The oh, crew. that one? Yeah. Uh, Geraldo's gonna be that chick. We escort you around to planets and do jobs on the side. Consider this, Geraldo. I believe they're called gigs, sir. Um, <laughs> you technically still owe Riker a fair amount of money, I say. I say I you mean, leave the ship uh, in our care and we'll call it a good done deal. Uh, oh, you also owe me a fair amount of credits, too. I told I believe you both that I would give you more credits than you can shove up your asshole. Those were my exact words. Can you shove 100 individual credits up your butt? Uh, I'd, I'd actually care to take that wager. I would love to take that wager as well. All right, then. All right, <laughs> let's, let's see. Bend over right now. A uh, more private area, maybe. Daunting task. Daunting. Yeah, I'd say daunting. <laughs> That's a, a daunting coordination. Yeah, he never said it once. I just gotta keep shoving credits up until I finally figure out that uh, this is the amount of the war. Well, let's see if you get that much up there, though. You got you got the five dice roll here on the he tray. He said it once, though. Like he's saying, one, take it out, one, take it out, so one, this is, take it out. This is going to be an agility check, or you can, go, you can do that <laughs> athletic if you wish, but... You can do brawn no, no, and try I think it's, force it or, or, <laughs> or, or brawn, or brawn. I, I hate yeah. to stop the little happy fest going on here. I'm not actually shoving credits up my No, I'd say discipline. Do do don't okay. accidentally clench. Resilience. What about you, Twi'lek? You're used to taking it up the ass, aren't you? <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, not actually. Uh, I Come think on, I'll... fucking tinderbox. You got this. I mean, isn't that what those tentacles on your head are for? Uh, no, I actually. <laughs> for lynching. Well, I mean, they're all, they, I'm sure they have all sorts of uses. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I think they call it some form of yoga, right? You just arch your back as far as you can until you can stick <laughs> your tentacle all the way up the other end. All right, look, get, look, Geraldo. I'm, <laughs> Geraldo, I'm, I'm going on that ship, man, with or without you. You mean you're going on my ship? Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Can I get some guards over here? They're trying to stop me. <laughs> Who has ever decided that it was your ship? I thought it was a collective will of whose ship it was. When did we decide that? I named it. I named myself captain. No one uh, ever argued either. I don't see your name written. Is your name written down anywhere? Are there are documents stating that you're the uh, owner of that ship? I mean, I'm sure there's a couple of data that I've been tinkering with. Yodex, bluff check. I'll, I'll make a bluff check for that. Yodex, that said, I never resolved whatever information I had on my data pad. Does that matter now or no? Um, all, okay, all that you know from your data pad, I'll give it to you, is that it, it's, it was a, obviously you're part of a Black Sun operative cell. That's what that's... Everything that was involved that you guys did there, you had thwarted a Black Sun project. And... From the fact that the Kabaz had saw you guys, I would say that you guys now would know that you're probably not the best friends of Black Sun at this point. Mm -hmm. Other than that, the rest of the data on there is kind of moot. Yep, okay. Man, uh, 45, what are those idiots doing over there trying to put... Uh, I'm trying to Bye. deceive... I guess it would be Krell. Because he's the one that called me on it. Okay, so it'd be his discipline. Wait, who who is saying that uh, I don't have my name on the ship? I, I was asking uh, if you did, Riker. but I wouldn't. You wouldn't have to bluff me anyway because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, uh, that's true. it'd be an average check for me. An average check. Okay. Is it discipline? Yeah, discipline would be the ideal one. All right, All right. and this comes with an automatic uh, advantage. Shit. Ooh. He's got his name on the ship somewhere. You're Oof. pretty sure. <laughs> He's well, pretty sure. It on in the corner, like. It's also covered in his scent. Like he scented it. <laughs> he marked, marked the ship. his territory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the ship smells great. You know that it smells sir, great. It sir, smells here, here's the problem. I mean, I assume my name is on the ship somewhere because my name is Geraldo oh, Nahario. I'm moving up, I'm saying. I mean, I'm pretty sure your Imperial ID says otherwise. I'm pretty sure my Imperial ID says Geraldo Nahario. Uh, Alright, let's make a deal, man. Let's not bullshit each other. So, why, why don't we all just hold, join hands, sing Kumbaya, and go on space adventures together? Mm, sounds good to me. No. <laughs> hey, hey. Here's and that's literally all it took to willpower <laughs> one. <laughs> here's what I say we I do. I don't know if Geraldo. I want to do it. Let's go do it. Okay. Geraldo, here's what I say we do. I say you go to the administration desk, say you want your first paycheck in advance before you leave, and then we leave. You know what? That's a great idea. Why don't I just do that? <laughs> Hops down off stage. Uh, Corral, oh, point no. me in the direction of your ship, just uh, in case this. Uh, Phase uh, through the wall. I tell him that <laughs> it is. I, it's um, <laughs> right next to the barrack, the Imperial barracks. You can't miss it. Uh, by the way, uh, Yodex, is there anything going on it's, like uh, through appearance? these halls? No. Uh, what? Through these hallways right here, all you see is uh, beautiful artworks and fine, precious items that are. It's a bit of an art gallery along there. Precious items. I said. Oh. Yes, there's also Garmians along here that are watching everything you guys do. If you, you dance do. good enough, though, they'll be completely focused on you, right? I would assume we'd be able to go free, or at least I would. Yeah, you guys are able to leave. There's no reason for you not to. Sweet. So Geraldo will uh, approach the administrative desk. There's a droid sitting there typing away at the computer. <laughs> Stops for a second. Hello, Geraldo. Hello. Well, I, tell me more about this... Uh, this offer that was made to me. Oh, there was an offer? Let me check the books. Oh, you must be Geraldo. Why, yes, I am. 
couldn't I could tell by your fancy ways and musky odors. Oh, so, fine. the offers that were given to you are, as it stands, that you have been paid 1,000 credits, correct? Uh, I don't believe I was. I'll make a deception check. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you a, uh, let's see, that's going to be a daunting check. Or what's the, what, what, yeah, formidable. No, what's the four purple? Flip a four daunting. Daunting. That's daunting, yeah. Doing it. Doing it. Yep. Force die. Yep. There we go. The fact that he's sitting there looking straight at a freaking computer in front of him. I'm going to give you another black, too. <laughs> It says you've been paid. Silly computers always mess up. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh Lord. Oh. Uh, well. Oh. <laughs> the computer shorts out. Yeah, um, yeah. really, you were supposed to be paid. 10, he stays the computer credits. down, and the computer just changes before him. You know what? Yeah. Pink guy, I like what you said there. Oh, it would appear there's been a typo here. My understanding is it looks like you, you were to be paid 10,000 credits. <laughs> is that what you were paid? Uh, well, and he pulls out the 1,000 uh, credit chip. Well, this won't do at all. Well, let me, go anyway, let, so me re less. let me remedy that for you. And he pulls out a 10,000 credits and places them on the desk in front of you. There you are, sir. And oh. I understand that you're to start immediately with Timo correct as part of the entourage of the dance and entertainment section uh that is correct all i have to do is sign my ship over to my previous crew and i will return very well then i look forward to working with you wink wink of course i look forward to dancing for his illustriousness all right i'm starting the ship i'm warming it up so as soon as he hops <laughs> on that we skirt out of here all right, just, just scoops check up start the, the credit chips and shoves them down his pants. Ooh. Yeah, I think you're gonna need some help with that. I think uh, WD-40 is gonna be carrying them. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, dude, like split them in half and put the rest in uh, his hat. My bag and my little medicy bag. Okay, so you guys are like right. walking out. I'll try not to drop them. Start the ship, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to get it started. What's what's the difficulty on that? Okay, as you guys are approaching the uh, docking base, base uh, landing bay uh, bash here, you see uh, Imperial uh, technicians walking away, and Borden is leaning up against the side there. But technicians are walking out, and they're pushing a hollow sled with a couple of cases on top, walking away. Um, we don't need the big map anymore, do we? You guys are off of it? Yep, we're off yep. of it. Oh. Yep. So I saw Borden hanging out with the uh, heroes. Yeah, where's your character, Borden? Put it, place him on, oh. on okay. the map where you are. Cool. Whoops. Uh, I think just... Mac and Trog's character got uh, deleted. Uh oh. Okay, well, my no, ping was doing real are. good for a second. I, my ping was doing awesome for about an hour now. It's taking out poop. Wow, I didn't oh. think I'd ever get to use this phase. Of the token. Oh crap. I can't make it bigger. I'll be right back. I think someone's uh, on Netflix. I'm about to bitch at him. Give me a second. Yeah, the one where you're standing by the car. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Wait, where's your thing? Oh, right here. <laughs> Never thought I'd get to use the vehicle phase. Man. Okay, so you guys are not inside the ship at this point. Everybody, nobody's inside the ship. I don't know what all this is. I'm taking it out. Oh my god, you know what's actually hilarious about this? What? One of the one of the bounties on my head is for 10,000 credits. This could actually be like a perfect reason for why he has this bounty on his head. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that, this actually fits remarkably well. Uh, you all see uh, Geraldo and uh, WD-40. I'm back. Okay, so you guys approach. You see Borden leaning up against the uh, the, the wall, the poor, cre poor stone wall, if you will. And 
as you guys are approaching, you do see a couple of Imperial uh, technicians moving a mag sled along away from the area. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, anybody along the front lines here? Either Flint, Riker, or WD-40. Already? Let me actually, I need to pull up my character sheet. Oh, was also a perception check. Yes. What is it going it on could be whoever, whoever's the highest. It doesn't have to be anybody. It's just oh, okay. an easier one. I think I have three. Yeah, I only have one green, so. Logged in. Let me put my sheet. Perception, I have. Yep, two yellow, three green. Okay, roll an easy one for me, please. I found the culprit. Xbox likes to update stuff even when the console's off. Wow, no, that's mine. creepy. You nope, said two purple, my, right? Every time I turn my Xbox on, I have to update something. I accidentally oh. said it so it one, updates one even, purple. When not, even when it's not on, it'll keep updating. That was stupid of me. Oh boy. Yes, yes. Wait, you I got a double triumph? That's the fourth triumph tonight. No, I was one triumph. Give me sight beyond sight. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh. I can see forever! <laughs> uh, Riker slowly begins to realize that he's on a table surrounded by uh, a few floating pictures in the sky. <laughs> Just becomes self aware he is in a game. <laughs> <laughs> Omnipresent. He's like, wait a minute, I see your heart beating. <laughs> just like, <laughs> whenever the roll ends, it just goes crazy. individuals who are touching each of us. Okay, so you, you, as you guys are seeing here, they, uh, you see this young, whatever you take it, looking around the, looking around the corner, towards you guys. He's kind of watching you as you're approaching. Love me some young tree men. Anyways, Riker would see that. Maybe you uh, want to go talk to him, Reggae. I'd uh, point that out to my buddy in Altmore. Spooky bunch, there's an ugly f. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Don't let him touch me, I hear it's contagious. <laughs> Okay, so you guys just gonna ignore this character, or he's kind of watching you as you go by? I mean, we have no reason to really. I know he's watching us, but who wouldn't watch? I guess he's doing, any, doing anything. I mean, does no. he look like he can smell me from a distance? <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of just looking around the corner. You can see he's very intent. You guys can see that he's a Wookie, a young Wookie. On a scale from uh, one to ten, how shifty is he looking at us? I'll go, I'll go talk um, to him. He's yeah, not a Wookiee on this planet. Ooh. Yeah, he's not. He, he's not really all that shifty. You can tell he looks, like, uh, he looks nervous well, and hopeful. Uh, hey, man, do you need some help? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, Four yeah, you know, forty-five. Listen, I'm force sensitive in the way Han Solo is, so I can uh, understand this. Guy. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> well, that's strange because I can understand exactly what he said. Because. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Mac, are you playing or. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Okay, yeah, they need your interpretation skills. Okay, present and accounted for, sir. By the way, every step that Geraldo takes just sounds like jingling coins. <laughs> Why? But sounding it's, it's deep just... within, as if they were uh, echoing throughout a cave or something. <laughs> or maybe I mean, the thoughtful. So the uh, droid, uh, the Wookiee looks over at the droid, and he's like, <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so great. Essentially, what he says to him is that uh, he really needs a ride. And he's willing to. He has two thousand credits if he could Ooh. offer a ride. I hear cash. We're needing a ride too. <laughs> what do you say? He bounces his head back a few times. 
Hey, he wishes a ride. If you guys could do it, then he needs a ride to Kashyyyk. What the hell do you want to do there? Your whole people are enslaved. How would you know that? I mean, it's, it's pretty common obvious. knowledge. Yeah, it's it's pretty common knowledge. It's on the it's on the hollow net. I mean. Well, well, we have to uh, I, I would think the Imperials would keep the entire slave enslaving of a race under. Oh uh, no, perhaps. the MPO is well, I'm, 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 a, I'm yeah. a Clone Wars veteran. I would notice that there were tons of fucking Wookiees, and then there were. She was considered an enemy of the Empire. Yeah. Ah, okay. I don't know. I didn't look up much of that, so I don't know. Yeah. Are we ready to do like, a little smuggling then? I mean, are we a uh, spooky bunch taxi service? I uh, my question you. still hands. I ask what, why he would want to go to Kashyyyk. Hold on here, hold on. He said 2,000 credits, and I want to make this very clear right now. As captain of the Night Sister, a thousand credits goes to the pilot, and then the other thousand is split amongst the crew. Well, it's a good You're thing I'm pilot. a uh, damn good pilot, then, huh? He kind of like, you know, spread this fear. This apart. and I walk over. I'm like, we have a new captain. And I, I put my hand on Riker's shoulder. I'm like, this man can handle a ship. Did you just give my ship to some <laughs> random vagrant? I should break I've your leg. <laughs> I've never seen a man who can maneuver a ship like this guy. I'd trust Being him with my life. Captain's more than about maneuvering. <clears throat> so, uh, seems like there's a bit of fighting here. Sounds like you guys uh, actually need a pilot. Huh? Uh, we do need a pilot, and like I said, a thousand credits to whoever pilots us. Mm -hmm. I got four green in that. What, what about a co-pilot? Thumb wrestle right now. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, there's nobody touching my hand. I'm just doing it in the air. I no, have... no, 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 no. We'll we'll settle this. Whoever actually pilots gets the thousand credits. The rest is split amongst the crew. No, really. I'll thumb wrestle you. I'll thumb wrestle you right now. Is there even a point of splitting a thousand credits among one, two, three? Four, okay, and five. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll split. No, I, I'm just fucking. <laughs> No, it's okay. I mean, I'll, I'll I, I'm asked Captain Harold, and can I take his split as he's complaining? Uh, no, I wasn't complaining. I was just wondering if there was a point to it. <laughs> well, that's true. You say there's no point in splitting it, so I suppose he can have your split of it. How do I turn down I, credits I, I, now? Uh, gone soft on me. I wasn't okay. turning down credits. But let's settle this. Let's settle this. Whoever pilots, like I said, they should get the thousand credits. They're doing the uh, work, so to speak. Chance cube, then? So Darren's Sounds right near the me. ship, right? Why, I have a chance cube right here. And he reaches into the back of his pants and pulls it out. It's a brown and a blue. <laughs> <laughs> Why, it's a, it's a brown and a brown. Oh. <laughs> it's been a little too long. Wh wiping it on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on someone's jacket and just came in. Like... Uh, I don't know. I got two people vouching for me, uh, Mr. J. I don't believe I got your name. Oh, my name's Jack Arar. Jack Arar. I'm kind of a big deal. Ah, I see. Big man himself. Well, uh. uh some would say. It's, uh, three voices against one. I'm in. I mean, I don't really give a shit how many voices there are. I think this should be fair. Especially I, since Jack Rar has been with us longer. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but literally hey, nobody's objecting. Hey, Nobody. hey, I listen, give you your no credits. You have no say. Nobody's I have objecting. no say. 1,000 to the pilot, 1,000 for everyone seen those else credits fine. Listen, if you want to prefer, if you want to prefer fair, that's fine. But when he's flying you into a uh, goddamn asteroid, well, I mean, you can come find me. Well, but then I'll be, be the on first ship. one off the non-existent escape pod then, now won't I? Any just Look, I'll... a chance cube between you? Call it Look, here. All, all I'm saying is that my boy Riker has gotten me out of many a situation. Alright, red is Riker, blue is Jackarar. Well yeah. then, it's settled. Nailed Fair enough. Nice. So 45, the Wookiee is kind of piping in that uh, Clatoonians are not known for their piloting skills. <laughs> That's racist. Yeah, you, you don't know what I know. You, you didn't grow up in the neighborhood I grew up in, boy. Listen, I, I, don't, I don't think I... <laughs> they have a reputation. 
around these parts. Look, look, look. If the two of you work together, one of you and Copilot, you can split the credits even. 50-50. You perhaps, both get 500. Perhaps you can assist me. <laughs> Big words there. We'll yeah, we'll, see, we'll, we'll uh, see if you're up to snuff. Perhaps. Okay. You, perhaps I'll concede. There's only my, one way uh, to truly role. settle. No, this. no, we've worked this Who's out. Who's the better pilot? We know we've worked this out. He's got to give a. He's got to. He has a chance now to show himself uh, with his skills as a pilot, you know, versus mine. So he's going to assist me as co-pilot for this uh, one, and we'll see how he does. I up into the show. I will fly, but I will not be called a co-pilot. All right, assistant pilot, sure. I accept no place other than the first place. Well, you know. I uh, mean, we <laughs> could hold on before we leave. We could uh, settle this even further with we your, can, uh, we can have a pilot, race. a pilot off, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. It's not a sand hopper. It's a fucking. What, what's the name of it? Canyon Run. Well, yeah, there's the a Canyon T Run. T16. The... Skyhopper. Oh, what was it? Skyhopper. I was close. Hey, can you um increase the size of our little dudes in here? No. That's how big it is. It's Imperial Dreadnought class. Nice. Nice. Oh, well, Timo's fucking a giant. <laughs> He'll kick your ass. You just stay away from him. Dude, he'll just roll over me, and I he would crush the city. <laughs> I'm gonna see that now. Okay. Might be a little Trog. Big. Trog, your next character needs to be a hut, and his special ability needs to be rolling over people. Eh, that's gonna uh, be hard though. I crush you <laughs> with the Russian accent. I crush you. <laughs> Russia. Russian accent is one I can do actually very well. I can do this next time. Wait, I, I, I have a question. Logically, well, there's no logic in Russia. Sucker blat. This is no. This is not the droid. <laughs> cheeky, um, cheeky, can this, <laughs> If Many I understand cheeky. binary, would would a little remote droid understand Wookie? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's I don't think so. by the way. Proto you noticed that protocol Roto droids are there for a reason. You notice that Gerardo is edging very closely to your little peep droid. I'll, do I notice it? Uh, no, he's, he's not really, really hiding it. He's just like sort of like getting up to it, and he looks like he has like I've, a uh, a little hydro spanner. I fly it behind my back. I'm like, all right, if you're gonna install base on it, just tell me. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> have the capability for base, but you remember that uh, that sweet kicking. Beat that uh, WD-40 was playing, it was meant for him. <laughs> it was meant for you, the whole time. Uh, I'm, ju I'm just saying, man, this thing is not good for tunes. I mean, couldn't you tell? That was pretty, that was pretty, uh, what's the word for it? Uh... Um, just so you guys know, your, your main loading ramp is right here. It, it opens up in between this section. So this is where you would enter the ship, off the loading ramps. So, uh, Let's just say the bit quality was shit. The uh, this is the ramp right here, right? Nope. This is your <laughs> this is your airlock. We're gonna be uh. Your ramp. That your game. Yeah, uh, I'm just making sure you guys know. This is your man landing on ground, walking out ramp. This is your getting your ass kicked through the airlock ramp. Hey Yodex, I got an idea. If this is cool. All right, so. No, I don't like this. It. No, no, we'll, we'll, hear me out. So this would be like the computers, right? No, that's and the then, lounge area. No, yeah, look, it, it's a console. Well, wow, there's right lots there. of consoles. Yeah, but there's, yeah, that's definitely the lounge area. Well, one of them would have to be, one of these consoles is going to have to be the sensors. Well, this one here can be the medical infirmary. See how the droid's in there? Well, I'll, I'd, I yeah. can take the sensors. No, I called dibs on the sensors. That's why I was asking. Tell you what. Yeah, you guys, you guys lay out the ship what you what you want things to be. So if someone has to run to something, then you know where you're going to. Uh, Ark or Riker would uh go over towards Jack Arar and uh, begin to speak, saying, "Look, listen, listen. How about when we're flying space side, I take over the reins, and when we're flying planetary side, well, it's your time to shine, buddy. I'm equally skilled in both." I, I'll, I'll never tell you what. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, new guy, look him up and down, a little condescendingly. Uh, you show me you've got some gusto. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll concede my seat to you. But this is uh, this is my show right now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take us out. Hold on, fellas. We can settle this real quick. Just whip out your dicks and measure them right now. Um, 
Uh, Clotunians have three dicks, so... What? Well, we get two hearts, yeah, so three dicks. Two hearts, three dicks, you know. That's, 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 that's 100% not how it works. You gotta equalize the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so my ball sack is like the, uh, the, the old pumps, the Reebok pumps, you know? God damn. That's, that's, that's how I get hard. Do you have to pump it up, though? No. At, your, at your ankle? <laughs> That's yep. cheating. It's basic, but it works. Yep, yep. Oh shit! I didn't mean, to, I accidentally flipped over a token somehow. Don't touch I think it was one. Tokens. It was one white. Okay, so you guys are all loaded up. <clears throat> I'm assuming you're obviously taking this Wookie's uh, 2,000 credits and the offer to fly to Kashyyyk. It's essentially why he's sitting on the uh, looking like some weird hippie with his feet up on the desk. Lounging on your couch in the lounge area. Hey man, like I just want to get back to like Kashyyyk because, like, man, I know some people there. They're like going on this like Wookiee retreat, right? He's more like the shaggy Wookiee. Like, <laughs> what did you say that leadership did? You can make a hard leadership check, and then every success will give. And if you succeed, it gives a boost die to whoever you're giving the leadership check on to their next gunnery check. And if you get three additional success... I, yeah, I suppose that's fine. Basically, the I assume it'd be fine. Basically, the way the book words it is, like, you're giving advice, you're like, Oh, look, there's a TIE fighter out there. Uh, they're doing this. And then, like, you're examining the battle and giving them advice. Alright, so more? Geraldo uh, walks up to the comm channel. And he, uh, he pulls the... Uh, speaker off the wall and he speaks into it Do -do -do. this is your captain speaking we're all going to have a fantastic voyage to the forest moon of Kashyyyk which will be a, a six pilots, day voyage the, which will be a six day voyage and the two pilots are totally not going to kill each other and thus kill the rest of us this is a hundred percent not going to happen and I'll roll the check. What a relief. Oh, that almost tried. <laughs> 4D's all calm. Whew, uh, that's good. Hey, um... Wait, uh, Borden's on the ship, by the way? Oh, yeah. I'm about to oh, yeah. 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 I'm about to be a little saucy. Alright, so that's Riker's gonna go over to Krell. So all everyone right. gets a sense and, of ease uh, from the captain's fine words. He's, uh, Riker's gonna sound a little... Oh, this lag. Holy crap. What's going on? Turn off the horn. I'll pull you over to me, I guess. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Turn it back on, maybe. All right. So Riker's gonna go over and uh, seem quite annoyed. He's gonna be like, "Look, I'm already making a compromise for flying with this uh, Fed right here, this uh, Marshal, whatever you call him. I'm not about to have some cocky little uh, Clotunian dog-faced uh, piece of work uh, tell me what to do. Try to put me in my place." No. No, man, so I see your dominance. Sit in the chair with your dick out the entire time and stare <laughs> him in the eyes. No, man, I feel you. I, I tried to vouch for you. That's now, stay I, out of this stripper. Now, I did not know the Uncle Tom was working with the Empire. Excuse me? Stripper? Sorry. That's yep. Captain yep. Stripper to you. <laughs> you're not my captain. Oh, no, then I... you're not on my ship. Okay, come Bye. on. Let's go. Let's go. You just... I did not... I'm gonna make a grapple check. I'm gonna make a brawl check and try to wrestle you. <laughs> oh no! Oh well then. Hey, what's going on here? Um. Nope. He said he's not. I'm not the captain of my ship. Nope. It's kind of like when the monkey. Me. It's kind of like at the zoo and the monkeys start masturbating and throwing turds what's at each other. Brawn? What's your brawn? It should just be a melee uh, check. Let me check. <laughs> or what's your what's your brawl? We'll make it. We'll make it a, a pose check. Four. Actually, wait, no, three. I forgot to change the ball. Okay. Is it is nothing upgraded? Uh, nope. Okay. Stop with the YouTubes. Clicker, clicker, clicker. Ooh, fail. Ooh. The draw. Or fail. Two yeah. advantage. He, he, like, tries to grab you, but then... Like midway through the grab, he just stops and just gently hugs you. <laughs> it's okay. It you'll makes you feel turn. closer. You'll, you'll get your turn. Just wait. No, 
Is it to advantage that he accidentally got a big whiff of you? Uh, oh yeah, Geraldo, you, you notice how great Geraldo smells? <laughs> Racker would attempt to uh, get away from the rather for the person who's invading his personal space. Feeling quite uncomfortable on this uh, ship at the moment. Shh, <laughs> the, shh, the, shh, the, don't resist. The pig. Let me love you. <laughs> the pig pungent yeah. fellow. Just accept now, my love. Just, Riker, just accept I it. I Let's... say we try and uh, talk to the Imperial. I see this as being a bit of a Mulan situation. It's like, right, hey, could I man? So I'm gonna do my yeah, check oh. here to see if I can get Wait, the ship. What'd you say, Mickey? <laughs> it's a Mulan okay, situation. Okay, give me. Uh, you hate it with the staff, and then you're gonna love him again. Give me an, an average uh, piloting check. Oh, uh, uh, as the ship's starting up, uh, Riker's gonna be like, "Look, listen. If I ain't the pilot, I ain't a part of this crew." All right. Uh, a lot of characters here I disagree with, so I I think I should be on my way. Wow. So I got one. one I got one advantage. Uh, we feel, we feel nope, the, they canceled. The ship jerk. You got three. Geraldo, let's go of you. <laughs> yeah, the ship the ship <laughs> bounced for a second actually. After he fails the piloting check, I'm like, Riker, now you need to stay at your fucking ground. I don't want to die on this ship. I you give get... you permission to force him from his seat. See, you feel the ship go, bam, and it shudders and everything. All the drinks spill on the table and stuff. All right, oh, all right. No, my death water. <laughs> Listen, he just starts here. eating right. through the floor. Uh, since the ship's moving, Riker senses he's not going to be able to leave, so he starts marching on over to the uh, <laughs> pilot. Uh, he's like, all the right. ship is moving. It lurched. I mean, it lurched. <laughs> Rack would uh, say, all right, dog face, up and out. Shoot. No, I don't think so. Uh, that's not my fault. That was a faulty igniter. Ah, well, it's about to be your fault. I'd say get in, get up and out. Come on. Boy, don't talk to me like a dog. Well, well you uh, sure Rack would like reach one. down and uh, uh, pull out his blaster. All right, not aiming. He just pull it out. Oh no! Uh, as I'll, the I'll, Rado, Rado with will his like controls. try for try to force himself past you. Oh, come on, come on, Poochie! <laughs> he just he just comes up to the chair and he just he just. I will, I will shoot you both where you stand right now. Do not demean me. Nope, like nope, this. nope, uh, nope. Now come with on. your back to me. Don't be a piece Okay, well that's no, a no, threat. No. That the with that threat, I unsling my rifle. That was no, threat. Nope, 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 nope. There will be no shooting on the ship. As you right. pull out the gun. <laughs> I, uh, I punch her all in the face. Oh. Don't no. ever don't ever make dog noises at me again. Okay, so that's my gonna mother, be a that's gonna be a melee check. Yeah, you might like Geraldo might just like turn and just like <laughs> beat you know? Two purple against your melee. I'm Wait. melee. Two purple. Yeah, you just come as melee and this is non lethal, it's gonna be strain. With this wait, is this all check? Nope, this is him punching. Um, Which is a brawl check. No, but I'm punching you, so it's just engaged. Uh, brawl checks. Yeah. Brawl checks are still just a melee attack. You don't brawl against brawl. Unless you're trying to like grapple, I think is how it works. Oh, right? no, three advantage. Right. You, you swing and miss, but you do have advantage. I bitch smack him. With, I I smack him with the butt of my rifle. Well, hold on, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, no. wait, 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 What what is Jakar's advantages here first? So my advantages are uh, I. I guess I push Geraldo out of the way. He stumbles behind a chair, and uh, another advantage is like uh, I draw my my blaster and point it at R Riker because like don't threaten me and don't fucking make dog noises at me. Okay, so we'll give you a we'll give you you can take the take two strain for that extra maneuver to pull that pull that weapon. So also like you know my my people were oppressed by the uh, the huts for a long time. I am not into being a sub subjective or a, a submissive person. I take very very good offense to this. Okay, so you push you push Geraldo, he bumps into Corral, Corral gets a black dice. Your maneuver is pulling your weapon, there's no strain for it, because you didn't make a maneuver. Okay, so Corral, you're up, but he's made a statement. I made a black dice. Well, I, so I'm just oh like... Oh god. Whoa. I'm like... Whoa. Whoa. What? My your mic, mic. Does it mic. still sound funny? Now it sounds like you're talking through, through cellophane or something. Do I sound okay now or no? Oh, no, no, no it's fuzzy. Uh, it's got a buzz to tin it. Tin cans connected by a string. It sounds like steel wool. I don't know how you did it. Like when you fucked the door open. Now am I okay? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So, I'm like, I well, just... I point the gun at him. I'm like, nobody hits my friends. And then I smack him with the 
ass end of the rifle. Okay, so a brawl check, you get a. Uh, well, it'd be melee improvised. Uh, sorry, melee. Uh, sorry, improvised melee is what I meant to say. Yep. This is going so smoothly. <laughs> well, I'm gonna upgrade one, cause why the hell not? Great. Wasting a line sight for that. All right. Oh, shit. No, didn't do Everyone's it. just fucking up. He misses I, and you like hit the console. I smacked the wall, but I hit my funny bone and I take two strain. <laughs> I'm like, look, I don't want to fight. I, ju I just want to peace and love, man. Enough! Rado smashes his foot down. Look, we rolled a chance cube. This is my flight. <laughs> Well, this is before you fucked it up. Shut up! I didn't Both fuck it up. Enough of this. He goes and he turns and he points to a Riker. Get in the co-pilot seat. You, dog face. Get us out of here. Uh, no, you the open chance that cube. When you, you roll the chance door. cube, you won. Don't fuck up this time. Nah. Geraldo, you, hey, you I can pilot. pilot. Gave I'm him out permission. the door. Open the bay door. Geraldo, you did give him permission to throw him out. Listen, man, you're free Enough to die as much as you want, Geraldo. I'm out. Geraldo takes a step forward, goes to him. If you're gonna leave, then leave. Do it, now. Then open the door, and I'll be gone. Go. <laughs> Krell, let him go. Man, oh, this dude's been my best friend my whole <laughs> life. I can't just let him go. Alright, so, uh... So stop him. I'm like, I'm like, dude, we, we can, uh... We... We can stop him, man. Don't. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I'm like, Riker, we don't need to leave like this. I'm not about to deal with a dog in some, uh. It's uh, not my kind of gig. Out of character, as an aside, I'm totally gonna, like, relinquish the piloting skills because I know you're better at it. I just wanted to fucking push this for this one round. I'm, I'm just like, man. Oh, I expected you, you to, time. like, not open the door. You'll get your as time. The two of you, as, the, as the two of you leave, Gerardo turns around and looks at Jack Rowan and he says, Take us off. Alright, we'll do. Okay, roll with I, the boost I, this time, Jack Rowan. Like you're you're filling in power. In of, I put my hand in front of Riker. I'm like, Dude, we got separated once. We we don't need to do this again. Listen, man, I don't know how you wound up with these people, but... uh. Look, I, I ain't about to get into a fucking gunfight on a handily, handily got it. Okay, so everyone, like, you guys have to reach out and grab the walls as the ship pulls up so hard. Five success, one threat. Oh, and Trog, I, I know you're just playing your character. I'm not actually mad. Yeah, yeah, this, no, no. this is interesting as fuck. Okay, so you guys all reach out and grab for the walls as the ship lurches up and starts climbing readily. You see the sand, the, the the desert, and all the memories of what of the sand and everything falling beneath you and getting slowly further away. As you guys scream up up into the blue sky, and the stars and stuff begin to pull through, and everything in the sky becomes darker as you break the atmosphere. As the night sister breaks through the tattooing atmosphere, you guys are now into uh, the darkness of space before you. She picks, uh, I think, one stream. Uh, you had the one threat. You can either take a strain or you can give this ship one strain for the amount of power that you had there. Yeah, that's a lot of success. I think I want to do that. Okay, so I, uh, we need we need to get so stats for the YT2400. Someone want to dig it. that up? I okay. got it. I already have them. So you are so, now a keeper of the stats. So the ship has taken a strain. Sounds good to me, dude. So Gerardo, as the ship takes off, he just crosses his arms and he's staring at the back of Jekarar's head the entire time. There's a notable uh, threatening presence tension, within tension. the room. If you look over your shoulder, you'll note <laughs> there's this very... He looks very... Uh, how shall I say? Oh, there is no, there's no flamboyance. There's no... Uh, it's, not, it's not the Geraldo you know. But once we break atmosphere, he just, he closes his eyes. <sighs> well then! Turns around and walks out. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna switch tables, guys. So, just hold right. on, hold uh, on your notes. Things one, two, three. Well, that's how oh, I've, I've made them all persistent. I'm uh, okay. kind uh, of on the ball tonight. 
while that's happening, <clears throat> while that's happening, I see his reflection before he leaves the room. I see him in the reflection of the um, the interior of the uh, the portal, and I say, "Listen, if, uh, if you're going to stand over my shoulder the rest of the time here, uh, I'm not going to be able to get this work done. Uh, so if you could just uh, thanks." As as he's walking out, Flint will. Uh... I- you, you, you hear like as he tr- as he rounds the corner, there's a pause. Then he peeks his head back around, and then walks out. <laughs> and then we'll, after uh, we get into space and everything's calmed down a little bit, I'm like, well, now we got another order of business to take care. Of. Oh no, what's happening? I didn't do it. It wasn't uh, fault. Fucking dude, it's the dog face. He's just destroying the ship. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Red red hand over here. I'm not doing that. <laughs> there's a breach. <laughs> We never took the space for it. Too bad. Fuck. I I uh, walk over to wherever Borden's at. What, what's Borden doing? Well, I'm he's he's just been leaning against this wall, looking down at the ground, and denying the Wookiee, and then back on the ground. Back. To the I I, I motion to Riker that I'm about to need some like backup here. The uh, uh, Riker stares outside into the uh, absence of space and just you know kind of looks Can really go. His, his blood yeah. is kind of boiling on the inside. Me and Geraldo is stuck in the show. Cool. And, Riker, and, we'll, if, yeah, and if you board. look to the left, you'll see a flamboyant uh, Zeltron and a Death Star. <laughs> Ignore the Death Star. That's just my planet I, model. Yeah, I look, I go to... That's no planet. That's an Imperial Battle wait, Station. Wait, yeah. Oh, wait, I think Borden's been lost. But yeah, anyway, so I go up to him. Token. I go up to him, wherever he may be. Oh, it's probably under the ship. This yeah, way, can, uh, someone, can someone free me from oh, yeah, the yeah. void? Me and Geraldo. Uh, <laughs> you look out the window, you see uh, Geraldo, like, <laughs> grasping <laughs> WD-40 quite passionately as they just float by. <laughs> oh, man. Clink in the credits. You, you know, next, if you promote me, I could spawn in the token. A stream of credits just flow yeah. out of their, <laughs> out of their many orifices. <laughs> so yeah, I go, I go up to Borden. We prepared special. And I'm like, this. I'm like, look, man, I, I really don't want a shootout in the middle of this ship, but I need some answers on what the hell you're doing with the Imperials, and what you, and what, what you're you talking mean? to them about. I we we all know you are involved with the Imperials. We we heard them refer to you as a as a uh, marshal. Uh, Riker would speak up, having no self control, but look. Listen here, sheriff or deputy or whatever the hell you are. I ain't a man of the law, right? I ain't admitting to anything, but I uh, I very much dislike rules, and I don't want any trouble with you. Then why are you telling an officer that you are not a man of the law and you dislike rules? And I'm gonna smile back at you. Because uh, I need you to understand uh, where I stand. Perodo will look to the marshal. I've got a bounty on my head. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I'm not a bounty hunter. I'm a marshal. Yeah, I'm he's a bounty like... hunter of papers, dude. That's kind of the definition not... of a marshal. Exactly, yeah. But I'm going to look back over at a Riker. I'm just going to say, have you by, by any chance committed any terrorist acts? I uh, refrain from answering any questions of that nature. Well, if are you directly involved with the Black Sun? I refrain from answering any questions of that nature. I am. I don't... Well, <laughs> I'm gonna look at Geraldo. Excuse me. Geraldo will. Uh, I'm a sovereign citizen. Geraldo will reach up oh, to the uh, collar of his coat, and he'll like slowly zip it down. Very slowly. Very <laughs> and sensually. Uh huh. And sensually. I changed the. He just pulls it apart. And over his uh, over his heart on his uh, breast is a symbol of the black sun that appears to have been burned and branded into his chest. Ah, huh. Whoa. <laughs> Beneath it is a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't. And then as soon as uh, things get a little quiet after he shows the tattoo, I'm like, don't worry, he doesn't have the nuts to pull out a gun. I don't need one. Ooh. No, I wasn't talking about you. 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna like just start to walk out and I'm gonna look, walk over to Harold. I'm like, can I talk with you for just a second? You can talk to me right here. No, I'm quite I, comfortable. He spreads his legs. No. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the, again, thinking Look, of man, we're, we're, listen, we're all bros here. Listen, I have no intention. No, listen, listen. I have no intention of doing anything to anybody on this ship. My first and number one priority is since, as you might have all known, you have been directly involved with Black Sun. At, at all point, Toraldo, you, more than ever, but however, all of the, everybody on this ship is, has a, basically a, a mark on their head. And they should be coming at any time. I am simply here to, if that time arises, to offer protection and capture them, capture anybody who wishes to impose harm, who works with the Black Sun on the ship or anybody within it. Just think of me as a uh, bodyguard of some sorts. But all right, I'm, I'm gonna see if he's bullshitting. I'm gonna okay, uh, roll for that. Can, can I actually get inside the ship, please? Yeah. I, as much as this scene, this touching scene of uh, floating Geraldo and WD forty. Is it a, is it perception to see someone's line discipline? What is it? Vigilance is vigilance, one. That makes vigilance sense. can be used. It's either vigilance or discipline. If it's discipline. uh, it's discipline if you're like an officer and he's trying to lie to you to get past what you're doing as far as your job, like your post. That's his discipline as an officer. Whether he would accept that. Vigilance is like how well you, it's kind of like how you're perceiving a lie. So I think in this case, vigilance is probably more relevant. Hey, I'm probably not going to roll them because <laughs> my vigilance is poopy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to go off a gut assumption and be like, that's bullshit. You know, the I think the Imperials sent him to spy on us. Why would I be such a spy on you? Do you really think they're very important? <laughs> Frege, <laughs> don't let go, Geraldo. Fucking Titanic scene. Look, yeah. if you blast your base hard enough, perhaps it could propel us to safety. Look, everybody I think, I think on the ship. Tatooine is that way. Everybody <laughs> on this ship is a man of, of questionable past. Okay. Still, my my work does not concern anybody. Who, I, I don't. I'm not. You know, my job is not to arrest petty criminals. I focus on. Uh, more pressing matters. Yes, more pressing matters. How many of you can play instruments? I, the marshal actually I'd dabble. raised hands. I'd raise my hand. A bit. So, Trog, as, as you guys are, or sorry, yeah, Trakar, as you guys are cruising along here, you suddenly see a, a uh, light starts flashing on the, your console, and you look out to your right, and you see two ships qu quickly dropping out of hyperspace, and they're coming straight towards you. On an uh, intercept course. So you can get him from the outside, don't worry, Geraldo. Yodax. Uh, I had a different plan for that, but okay. Yodax. What's up? We're beneath the ship. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. You look good there. Okay. I was going to suggest that after some conversation happened in time past on the ship, that I would, um, that I would get on the intercom and, uh. <laughs> Ranger! Nope. Nope. <laughs> Riker's gonna grumble and leave the group that are having their discussion and go on over to the cockpit. Yeah, it's time for me to, you know, have a, a, a dog nap. Yeah, oh, I may, see. You may want to come over and take take over. We got two ships incoming. Oh boy. Make room. Let's go. I need to trot on over to the uh, console. Wait, we prepping for a fight? Oh, oh, what is your that? musical preference? Does does this ship have a gunnery thing on it? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna like I'm dog, dog, nap, I'm gonna, yeah, dog nap sorry. back here. But yeah, I, I also have pretty good gunnery. So uh, Riker would come over the intercom and be like, uh, uh, "Pay attention, everyone. This is your asshole. I mean, Captain speaking. Uh, everybody, fasten your seatbelts." I jump in one of the gun turrets in preparation. Are there more than one? Roto gets up at the Two. usurper. Uh, I'd attempt to read the ship's signature by chance. If, the ship um, is if I could find the damn things, here we go. All right. Well, if we've got klaxons going and we're getting into combat, I'll jump in the other gunnery thing. I've got like one green, one yellow, three green. Not bad, at all. You said that Jekker is gonna mm -hmm. do the yep. other gunner. Right. I was I going thought you were to piloting. I, well, no, I got up to take <laughs> a dog nap, but we got into combat. All right, then you can get in. Oh, I'll make a uh, computer's check to try to scan the two vessels. 
Actually, well, I don't mean to be a rules Nazi, but scanning be actually would be a perception check. Oh, okay. No, we yes, want I, we want people to yes, make sure we're yes. doing it right. Yes, because seriously, like I don't I, I, I don't know anything about the. Wait, it's you said perception. that there's a lot of stuff. Perception you said there's a lot of stuff check. You're, we can do. Yeah, all two sorts yellow, of stuff. I'm about to get the rulebook done. Okay, because I've I'm I'm the one that builds the models and makes the story. You guys can figure out this nuanced crap. Wait, why can't I grab anything? Oh my god, everything's lagging. Because so your bad. hands are small. You know what? Donald Trump. Mr. Trump. <laughs> Alright, what's the uh, difficulty? It's gonna be average. Seeing how I already okay, told you it, that. Uh, it literally takes me 15 seconds to move anything on my screen. That means you have a ping of 1,000. Don't play with my cubes. Alright. You got. One success and three or four advantage. All right, perception, baby. Okay, so you see a couple what appears to be um, Z95 headhunters coming in, and they're they dropped out of warp just before you there. You see them turning now, and they're making what appears to be an attack intercept. They're slowly turning towards you, and they're coming in at attack speed. So, Yodex, real quick. Are there any, uh, hang on, registered? Person? Hold on. Go ahead, Trog. Whoever's keeping the uh, ship stats needs to also get the weapon stats, so, yeah. yeah. I have the weapon stats. Yeah. Pink guy okay. has all that stuff. All right, let me tell you. I'll tell you, they're both, uh, we'll, we'll get to it when we get in combat. Just, uh, do whatever's happening near to them right now. Okay. Okay, to the zoo, two Z95s, they say nothing to you. We're just going to roll initiative. Uh, but are they registered to a specific name? Let's, um, can, can Mr. Mac suggest that we try to hail them? Okay, you can, yep. Yeah, let's hail yeah. them. I'll hail them. I'm, I'm at the uh, communications call. I'm going to assume my defensive flight maneuvers and shit. Okay, so you, try to keep them up you guys hail. throw a friendly hail out towards them, and they're having none of it. You can see that they're coming on an attack vector. Pink guy, can you like send me a link to the uh, it's like, ship in, actions? It's in the core rule book. That's what I'm doing. Why am I lagging so much? Page? Uh, page about, I would say, oh, uh, page 245 to 2. Edge of Empire's core? Uh, Age of Rebellion. That's what I'm using. About 245 to 251. It's a bunch of important stuff you can use. Alright. I let my friend borrow that book. I don't have it. That's okay. Um. This I is why you have stuff. a PDF. Yep. I prefer the books. No, oh, yeah, the books. The book smell. I mean, yeah, you can't. You can't sniff Love the that PDF. that fresh book smell. That that's a really nice smell, but at least with the All PDF, right. you'll usually never lose it. And if you do lose it, you can just re-download it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Pink guy saying you're keeping these stats on your side. Yes, I'm the, keeping all stats. The pilots on these guys are. So you have a Z95 headhunter? Do you have their stats? Let me add it to my inventory real quick. So if you can pop them up, I have stats for them, but we're going to do this together so we all get Z better at Z95 this. Z95 AF4 headhunter? Yeah. And the pilots How many on, of them? There's two of them. The pilots on these guys have a agility of three, and they have two ranks in uh, gunnery. All right, agility of three and two ranks in gunnery. You said two forty-five. Two Z ninety-fives. Z ninety-five. Sorry, the uh, two forty-five. Well, guess what? A the Age of Rebellion thing that I have only goes to two thirty-nine. You must have the beta book. Yes. Shit. Give him the link you got to the full books. Well, science, right? You have the link. Link. I'm doing something right now. Give me a second. I don't um, have the link. I don't think I still have it. Let me check. All right. All right. Yodex can. Can you give me a second? <laughs> oh yeah, See, that's the thing is I want to spread this out so that everything goes quicker when everybody's working on it. Do you think it's also in the Edge of Empires? Yeah, it's, it's probably the same thing. Um, so I'll send you the. Cool. I have the. I have all the books. I'll send you a link to. Them. Thank you. There's everything. Okay, agility of three in both of them, and how many ranks? Two ranks. That's their piloting skills. So. Piloting or gunnery or both? Oh well, their gunnery, yeah, they their gunnery is ranked two. They have pilot piloting is one, 
So there would be a yellow and two green for their piloting. Their gunner would be <laughs> two yellow and a green. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it. Essentially, narratively, these guys are coming at you. We're going to roll initiative. So whoever, uh, there's only so many positions here. We have an engineer, we have gunners, and we have pilots. So we, whoever is in those positions, you guys need to roll your vigilance, please. And someone, I want Trog to keep track of that on the right side. All right, I'm going to roll vigilance as gunner. Yeah, can't we have multiple people at the computers and stuff, though? Because since we have multiple... 1.2, by the way. Yes, but only so many people can actually do something. Yeah. I'm co -pilot. There's a certain amount of action. You said vigilance? Everybody's doing vigilance. We're getting caught on off guard. Alrighty. Uh, that will be yellow and two green. Okay, or, so I'm sorry, a yellow and a green. Trog's keeping track of that on the note section. Right, can I roll now? So we got this many people. We are going to delegate to keep things moving better. Two. Trog, are you here? Okay, somebody who somebody who is here, keep track on the note section. All right. All right. Can you guys type it in yeah, chat? Yeah, promote me. No, no, can you type like what you got in chat? Anybody can do that in the notes. You just click on it. Um, sorry, uh, Shark, page 258 on the Edge of Empire book has the Z95 Headhunter. I have the stats for the Headhunter right now. I, I was looking, I was well. asking for like specifically what other people could do like during piloting situations. Um, there is engineering, there is gunnery, there is, so, and there's also pilot himself. I believe are the three spots. Uh, could there be a, could there be a spotter to give the gunners or pilot a boost yeah, though? Yeah, you, you could have boost with that. A co-pilot. Yeah, there is co-pilot seat as well, sorry. Cool. I'll probably just be playing action music doing this. <laughs> okay, so you can find us some battle music here, Minky, on the tablet. Now, who, keep in mind, whoever wants to um, be the engineer, there's so much shit you can do. All right. Well, uh, as uh, WD-40 uh, starts blasting music, and with a threat of danger, uh, Geraldo's adrenaline starts pumping, and he feels uh, he feels a bit quicker. He feels uh, he feels like he's uh, a little bit faster, lighter on his feet. I'm going to dedicate the force point to up my agility. Well, whoever's got the best mechanics or whatever. Requires for engineering would be computers is what you'd want for engineering. Oh, and Geraldo is going to head to the but gunnery. You do need mechanics to do any uh, ship repairs and stuff like that. Yeah, I've got three greens, uh, so that'd be I somebody in engineering. Is two advantage to require to activate linked? If it's not stated otherwise, it's always two advantage for any yeah, activation stuff. All right, I'm a little confused on how guided works. So it's if you move it, it um. All right, so no, I mean if you miss an attack, you can use you can attack again with guided. I think that's how it works. Guided. Uh, I can guide the book. Uh, requires three advantage to trigger. Yeah, so it's, it, if you do that, misses, makes yeah, additional it, it, it's a reroll. It's a reroll for as many well, ranks as you has in that as you have. Oh that. no, it's not um a straight up reroll though. It's the amount of dice that you that's listed on guided, right? For a guided three be three green, correct? Well, that's for it's, it's three advantages to trigger guided. It says if triggered the and at, an attack misses, make additional attack with the ability equal to the guided rating. Yeah, so, the guided rating is three. Oh, okay, so, so then, yeah, it'd be three yeah. green days. Okay, that would make mm -hmm. sense. Oh, well, I guess good for us that we're in ship combat. I have the uh, Age of Rebellion um, GM screen, so I've got the ship stuff on here. That's what I'm using, too. It's so big, it fucking doesn't fit in my lap. I know. I It's so awkward. I'm using it, like, the entire time, plus, like, a cheat sheet I made. 
Yeah, I got yeah, a, Yoda X cheating. Punish. I, I got a four well, no, page like, cheat sheet though. Of all yeah, the little it's, stuff. I literally dude, I literally filled up five pages in space notes. <laughs> I, I copy and pasted straight from the book all the little like stupid things, you know, like you know, rarity modifiers, gear and equipment, uh, increased cost when trading, rarity, black market items. I have a little All right. printed page. Okay, oh, so initiative. We need to roll yes. uh, initiative NPCs. for NPCs. Oh, Geraldo has to go too. Rip. Hold on. There we go. Vigilance. Wait, Trog, what is your piloting, by the way? Uh, four green on both. Okay, so I got 2.0, 2.0, 1.2, 1.1, 0.2. .1, am I missing? I feel like I'm missing like a bunch of people. No, you can only have a certain amount of people participate in space battles. Oh. Well then. Okay, NPC one. Two point or one point one. NPC two. By the way, uh, what are the stats on the guns? One point two. Oh, all right, one. you want to roll some chance die to see if he um. One point one, one point two. Yeah, and to see if they go over the. Um... I mean, what takes priority in an initiative? NPCs or players? Like who goes? Players do. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we need to place those NPCs in slots associated to where they fit to the uh, PCs. So they one point two. Okay, let's see. It goes right here. Okay, so I guess we have to figure out the range. We need to like figure out a standard range band for space, I guess, because it's a lot different go. than planetary. We're all in. We're all in short range at this point. We're all in, like they say, the Tie close. Fighter close range. We are in close range. Close. So they dropped uh, out of hyperspace. Yeah, you dictate. Yeah, yeah they, that makes sense. Like you dictate, you're like, oh, okay. I'm yeah, like, well, no, they're, yeah, I like that. they're not way the hell out there. We're we're at okay, close good, range. Good, good. Yeah, they dropped out of hyperspace. You guys like literally right on you guys. You can see them stop, or not stop, but as they came to attack speed, they turn. They're turning towards you. They're coming in. You guys see them on an attack vector. We have three PCs that can act first. Um, if it's okay, can I go first? Uh, what's our silhouette? I think four. four. So I have an idea. I. Oh, uh, wait. I don't think I can do that, actually. Mind the ship's too small for that sucker. Oh, actually, I don't think there's any maneuver that I want to do. What's the silhouette on the um, Z? Three. Okay, so these are going to be average oh. checks for us. Yeah, there's no maneuver I want to do. My maneuver is, can I uh, take aim? That's cool, right? Yep. All right, so I take aim on one of the ships. And for my action, I would like to... Wait, so... Oh, wait, yeah, all right. Um, I want to do... Oh, yeah, I can't do that because our ship's too small. Now I'm just going to do a standard shot. Okay, they are, you're shooting blindly at them. You haven't even uh, addressed them. You've attempted to address them. They haven't responded. But you are going to uh, shoot? I, I see. I'd say so. It's average. We, okay. well, we hailed them as well. Yeah, they did not respond, so they. I assume and they're coming towards us. I'm going to see we warned them. And then... Okay, I'm going to place this ship right here. Actually, uh... Can I make a piloting check to help line up a shot? Give him a boost there? This is what we're going to do Back. associated from where you are relative to them. So Not the ship we, that we are see. silhouette four. four. We're silhouette three. So. Your average. That's, e that's an easy shot. It's not. Right? No, I thought that'd be an easy Isn't shot. Isn't it blacks over speed and stuff as well? Black dive first. Oh, well, we how fast are they going right now? Um, they're at attack speed, so... So... Alright, so firing at a vessel that has the same silhouette as target... They're at full speed, they're at, they're at speed 4. 4. So, so they're one going... One, one larger or smaller, it's an average. If it's two yeah. or smaller, then it's easy, and then it goes on from there. So we're yeah. at an average. As they get smaller, Fire. it gets oh. more difficult. 
Oh! Because they get bigger. Wait, I misread more that. Instead of two or more smaller, I was thinking they were two or more small. No, okay. You so guys are all fighting with average shots right now. The only thing would be speed Plus differences. Plus, we get the modifier. Speed differences will modifier. add, make it more difficult to hit them. So, what's the difference of? I don't have my. I gotta get my cheat sheet out for this. So, so speed four versus Jack speed zero. What speed, speed are we moving at right now? Or I guess it would be Riker. Uh, you're just moving at normal speed, which is probably two, because everyone's just kind of chit-chatting. You weren't max speed at this point. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to get it up there, though. So that would be happening on your next piloting skill checks. That would be a piloting check to increase your speed. Wait, I don't think I had this on my sheet. What's um a two to four speed? Oh, wait, here we go. Increasing two? Yeah, if, no, I'm saying if they're two ahead of us. I know that there's the modifier. We just to... give a black dice. You know, like this okay. is where this is where I say the more you sit there the and nitty enjoy, gritty is not. Yeah, it, it's not worth it. it. You know what I mean? Like it just brings the whole story to a grinding halt. And yeah, let's we'll, let's, we'll, let's just resolve it and get on to the story. It, that's how I look at it. Wash. That one's absolutely cocked, Mr. Uh no, everything they cancels each other out. I so I start, I see him coming in, and I immediately. Oh wait, I didn't roll my warning um, shots. <laughs> no, I I didn't roll my boost for taking aim earlier. Ooh, you did. Yeah. So I do shoot him. I shoot him for one do. advantage, and my my advantage is that I uh, what is that? I give so, a boost to the next person. So Did you're you take on, the first slot. Are you in the dorsal gun yeah. or the ventral? Uh, you know, top or bottom? Uh, I'm, I'm top, probably. Oh, so top is ventral, correct? Ventral. Yeah. So you're on this top gun right here? You're blasting yeah. at them? Actually, top is dorsal, but all right. Okay, then I'm, then I'm dorsal, I suppose. Okay, so dorsal gun, you're firing from the top at them, which would make sense because ventral you cannot fire because obviously, given our current, which is nice about having the models, you can look directly that this gun cannot fire through itself at these ships. So, okay, the, only so gun that, the only gun that can fire is this top dorsal. I gave them seven. So I hit for seven, and some of their hull is going to soak that up. And their armor. Dude, oh, they do have shields. Oh, you so have to roll a black dice. Yeah, yep. add, add a black. Add to roll a black die. Ooh. Well, oh. shit, oh. I, I missed them. I, I hit them, though. but their sh but their shield uh, fizzles and soaked up all the damage. So, um, my advantage is I'm gonna give a boost because I distracted the ships that they broke from formation, which would give a opportunity to the next person to do something. Yeah. So they, you can see them. They roll. They they break and they roll, starting to uh, roll off. But no, yeah. what I recommend with space combat is be very descriptive and try to make it exciting because it will fucking be so boring if you don't. So I feel like I was high in the uh, initiative there, but like uh, that boost should go to the pilot to like orient us to where that we can get yeah, to firing it, it can go to whatever you guys feel is best. Either the yeah. gunner or the pilot, I said. I can't shoot at either of these things. Well, so if it goes to the pilot, I can so. give everybody, a boost, everybody shooting a boost. Yeah, I could angle the ship a different way. Yeah, you could attempt to gain the advantage or something. Like 90 degrees, so we're, we're now splitting the difference. Wait, ho ho hold on, hold on. Who is on the gunnery? Uh, Jack Me Arash. and Jack Arash. Rip. Me, Rip. I mean, Rip, because earlier I said that Rodo was going to go on the gunnery. So, Rip. Mm -hmm. Well, who's got the highest skill? Me. You sure about that? Absolutely. Okay. With the bonus to my agility, I've got the four green, so... Yeah, I've got one got yellow and three green. I know, which is why I'm ripping at Krill. Krill. Well, I was the first one here, though. Rip. Alright. I guess I... So am I out of this battle, then, for good? No, because you, you, you already got your shot off. You already got your shot say, off. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I did not realize you called it my bad. Rip. Go to get a drink. Come back. Okay, so your out. guns, uh, your initial shots fire out, hitting this guy here. He spins off and begins making a right bank and dropping down lower, and the other one begins pulling forward as well. 
And who's up next? So Krell was first, and who's next? I guess uh, the pilot will go. I'll try to line up a shot with the ventral turret and attempt to pick up a bit of speed. What would that be like? Gaining the advantage, actually. Hmm? That would. I mean, you could. That's an action. You could be like gaining the advantage, and it'll make it so you ignore speed bonuses and difficulty. I guess it depends on his pilot skills, like what he has in his uh, spec sheet. Uh, it's two purple, or what, what's the difficulty? Um, it would be... It's all speed average. Speed, and they... Yeah, it'd be average. Two purple? Two purple. Sweet. Uh, three advantage, three success. Oh, two success. That is my bad. Did you forget your boost? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you had a boost. Well, that's a hell of a pilot. It's alright. And an extra success and advantage. So, four advantage, three success. Four advantage is enough to make something pretty good narratively happen, I suppose. <laughs> so, how about he does this thing where, like, they were flying towards us, and uh, we, like, kind of, like, flip a bitch, but also rotate on the uh, X axis, and um, we've got two firing arcs. For the, uh, the the ships, I'll line them up for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, did you increase the difficulties of maneuver? They said. I'm rolling shit. I mean, and did you did you uh, you said you throttled up as a maneuver, right? Did you? He was oh, trying. Uh, to, he was trying to get more speed. Yeah. Yeah. So you gained the speed as a maneuver. Which does what? So what's the speed of the um, Zeds? They're four uh, right, now. right now. Right now they're four, and he bumped up to four, so there's no penalty for speed. Okay, so we're matched. Okay, so as you guys can see, the uh, the Night Sister she she rocks up under her side there and begins turning to her straight towards them, giving both gunners a chance. All right, so I guess I'll take a pop shot. Do it. Do it. Actually, uh, are those markings actually on the ship? Um, you can give me a perception check on those. At, out of combat. Wait, what? Give me an out of combat. Perception check yeah, me. easy perception check out of combat. Let's see if you recognize the markings. <clears throat> oh, wait, I gotta roll the difficulty. What is it? Easy? Alright, so I got a good, um, I have my pencil out now and I'm detailing our, uh, space wow. combat, so it'll be a lot easier for everyone. Two advan- or three advantage. Okay, they seem familiar, but with all the flashing and and explosions around you, you can't quite put your finger on what you, where you've seen this before. Well, whoever's our engineer should put up the sensors. Oh, I and that. Uh, my, my gunnery roll was in one success. I'm gonna- I'm gonna take okay. the, uh, next slot if it's on NPCs. Wait, I thought that we already had all of ours. Did you roll initiative? Yeah, I did. Oh, co-pilot, my bad. Okay, I'm back, I'm sorry. So how many people have gone before me? Three. Okay, so yeah, I'll take the next slot. Uh, nope. I think that's it. It's NPC's turn. Okay, there's four slots. Uh, nope. There's three, and then NPC. Uh, and then, put up yeah. a fourth slot. No, it was an accident. Okay, so Trog, we have to resolve Trog shot. Trog hit for one plus the base of the weapons. He hit for one advantage plus base of weapons. No, one, one, one success. One success. 
Oh yeah, one success, so seven damage on them, but did he roll the setback right? Did you roll a black dice rod? For their shields? I don't think so. Okay, just yeah. roll that one. Don't roll it? Oh, fail. Alright, so he misses. Well, no, we'll say the shot hits again, though. But, but the shield... Uh, yeah, the shot blasts out, hits. But I want to point out, they do not have shields in their rear. The only they can angle them, shields. but they're not. Yeah, they it's not like a full body shield. No, it's no, only... It's, it's um, deflected. Shields. Okay, so this this uh, headhunter here, he uh, rolls off, breaking to the left. And now we're going to have the first one turns and makes his attack. So this one here now moves in closer. He is making a average check. Go ahead and uh, roll that pink guy. His average with his gunnery is two yellow and one green. BLB. Is there any deflector shields on the Night Sister? In fact, there is. There's one. Okay, so we roll black on that. Assuming that, uh, that you guys have the shields forward. Alright. They do hit us. So, but we can't. Alright, for the two threat. There's only one, one threat. One threat. <laughs> and a success. Sorry. So, their stats. They're, which one hit us, the cannon or the missile launcher? Would you say? Uh, the whichever you you decide. It's this guy right here. Okay. Uh, which guy? Point out to me. I feel like he'd use the cannon. Okay. Um. So that's six damage because that's in our shield and our armor's four at that, and we only we take two points of hull damage. Okay. So you guys feel the ship shudder and shake as you're getting s smoked by this cannon. This old girl, and, um, she hasn't seen battle for a while. You can feel the bolts and the hull plating shifting under the pressure. Uh, we took... And they have one advantage, right? One threat. And they have one advantage, one threat. Damn it, I had a, a uh, crazy... I'll okay. take that as system strain for them, because they... Okay. Well, that's, that's at the end of their turn. Yeah, uh, PC right. slot. Well, I'm, I'm taking it, and I'm gonna... Do an astrogation check to start plotting in coordinates to a cache. Wait, we're we're abandoning the battle. Well, no, just get the just in case. Just have the coordinates ready. Yep. Well, there's some. There, yeah, I was gonna it's, say there's. It's gonna be average. Could... Can't cut them out, man. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. I'm sorry. Average, average uh, astrogation check, please. With the shaking and the jostling of the ship, there you're you're panicking and you're not getting the information correct. You have a you have a, a set of codes comes up. You feel it's right, but you, but an error starts flashing. And there are obviously you got a few systems that you're you're running into that you're going to be hitting a few planets. So you know that that can't be correct. But you do feel that you have the advantage now to get it set correctly. So you get a boost dice on your next next attempt. Now we go back to the second NPC who begins his shots. Now we're firing the missile guy, correct, pink guy? Well, no, they both have both guns. I was just wondering which gun they wanted to shoot. Oh, you choose the next one. All right, well, this one is going to... This is this guy on the left? Yes. Yeah, so the guy on the left, he's... uh. We'll gonna chance be... for that. Yeah, let's do that. That's fun. Red for missiles, blue for cannon. Sure. Red, so he's gonna be shooting some missiles. Yeah. One. Here, can someone roll that for me because my uh, internet just kind of cut out a little bit. But I got it. Yeah, thanks. So you guys see two missiles drop off the side of the ship there, and they begin screaming towards you, leaving a smoke trail behind them. We'll two success. And two disadvantage. Or 
through so it. So the ship takes two strain as it fires these two missiles that begin screaming in towards you and they you hear them smash against the hull of the Night Sister. Okay, so they hit us for eight and we have four in armor. So we are going to take four. Okay, at this so point I think the speed is moving fast enough that you guys have overshot each other at this point. So they scream past you. I'll and take you that last slot. Better so the mechanics check someone. So they just come screaming past you guys now. You guys have overshot each other. Alright. Uh, Geraldo, as he feels the, uh, ship buckle and jostle with the uh, impact of the rounds. He'll head his way to the uh, engineering compartment, but then uh, instead of going directly to the uh, engineering systems, he walks up to the wall and he pulls the uh, uh, comm channel from the uh, from where it is on the... What the fuck is Lumpy? Oh. Oh, guys, by the way, I made a dumb mistake, and the missiles have breached four, so we actually are at nine out of 25. So they go through Ooh, the, wow. they go through there, through the hull. Wow. You feel the ship fucking rock. Wow. All right, uh, our Riker, we come over, comms, be like, all right, guys, keep these fuckers off me. Focus on one at a time. At this point here, as Geraldo is trying to make those communications, the Wookiee gets up on his face. He's all frantic. <laughs> he's waving his arms around, <laughs> right in Geraldo's face. Is there anyone uh, of the original party who can see me? Uh, I don't think so. They're all at positions. Geraldo immediately just turns and backhands the Wookiee. Get just, out of my face. This isn't the time for it. He totally stares blankly, <laughs> just dumbfounded that you hit him in the face. He moves over to the comms and he pulls it off uh, and he speaks into it. I'm going to do a leadership check. All right, everybody. Well, you know, this is our first time voyaging together, but I know that we're a capable crew. I know that you all have it in you. Just let yourself move with the beat that pulses through each of us. Are you doing fire discipline? Fire discipline. Nah, right, who are you doing it on? Uh, I'm gonna do it on Atlas because he's got the better chance of hit. Wait, no, I would do it on uh, Trog because he has the better chance of hitting you. Okay. Wait, who's Atlas? Tiki. Wow, that's Tiki. Yeah, that's his. Is that his old name or something? Yeah, it was. Oh, that's his yeah. online name. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Sorry, I picked that up. This is his grinder handle. I guess Riker's now Atlas. That was, cool. I, couldn't, I, I couldn't the, remember Riker, so I just put in Atlas. Atlas's Atlas is call sign. Sweet. I already got a nickname. Achton, my Atlas. Yo, we all need some dope ass call signs. Alright, I call giving uh, Stripper Boy Stripper. Uh, Aldemar will get faggot. Trog will get badass. Wow. wow. Just wow. So as oh, you're okay. talking over the comms there, the uh, you're you're trying to send out the encouraging words, but just then the mi the missiles strike the hull and the explosion rocks everything and drowning out anything you're saying and sparks begin flying from the everything around you. I hate sparks. <laughs> they ruin my outfit. I hate sparks. They're coarse, rough. Irritating. Get, get everywhere. Penetrate get everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> okay, so the two ships that you guys they scream past you guys now. Riker, you're mean? up. Actually wait, if we're going to the top. Oh no. Oh sorry, Krell's up, sorry. Yeah, I'm a little Jew and grab the first slot. Um would I be able to hit them? Are they You yeah, you should be able to. Yeah. Alright, he's gonna stay at the angle. Up. Uh, yep, that'd be Two is an average with the black. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> so two advantage total. 
and pass it on over to Trog. Yeah, pass a boost to Trog. Now I have an ability called Brace. Uh, perform the Brace maneuver to remove one black per rank of Brace from the next action. This may only remove one black added by environmental circumstances. This is environmental. No, it's shields. Okay. So what you doing, Krell? Did you hit him? I, no, I whiffed. But I, okay. had, I had two advantage, so with my two advantage, I'm going to give a boost to Jekyll. Okay, so <laughs> as they're screaming past you so fast, your shots shoot out past as they're rolling and spinning out of the way here. And your shots are cutting right past their wings, but missing ultimately. Okay, I shouldn't have any more problems. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, buddy. Nice. That's All right, success so too. success, two advantage, and a triumph. You want to crit? Is that your triumph? Um, no, oh. I didn't. I didn't succeed. He did. Success he counts did. as a triumph. But not if you don't get. No, no, a triumph is still a success. It's one yeah, star. No. Okay. So do I, I don't know how crit ship crits work. Uh, same way same as thing. Crits. You roll a crit on there, and we see what Wouldn't they get. You roll a Yodax because you have the amputee. Yeah, you roll it. Uh, sorry, doesn't matter. Okay, I'll roll it because that's pretty low. I'll roll lower. Thirty-five. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, way better. That's four better. Okay. So GM screen. What do we got? Thirty-five or. <laughs> That is... Um, knocked off course. Knocked off course. Crosses in, we got one. Pilot cannot maneuvers. Yeah, that'd be... A, I mean, is that what you wanted it to be? That'd be a crit, usually. Well, no, but I mean, like... Okay, so it's either a crit or a triumph. Okay. You can you can choose a triumph. It doesn't have to be a crit. Wait, which Tri one did you choose? The ship which careens one into the uh, second one. I, yeah, I'm kind of thinking, like, uh, we do... Where they kind of, like, touch tips. They're not disabled or whatever, but maybe both. That would be a, a minor collision. Um, is, that, is, that, is that okay? Yodex? That's yep, fine. Yep, yep. I am fine in the trim. Yep. That'd be a minor collision on both of them, so they'd both take a crit, but each of the, it'd be minus 10 on both of them because they're shield. So it would crit as a 25 then. No need to reroll? They'd So they both get knocked. Or, well, no, I guess. 48 minus 48. So they're both losing powers to their shields. So we'll say that they don't get they negate their black dice. So you see a blue okay. a blue sparks go across their wings and stuff as their shields are and let down. I pass a blue die to you know to the next guy. Uh, so Tiki. Oh, we went out of order. Oh, oh. I forgot to do damage. Oh, I remember his name. I guess Borden, sorry, Borden wasn't in here. He was gone. He didn't realize we were rolling initiative, so he's actually at the top of the order. So we should probably have him do something at this point. Oh, what are you doing, okay. dude? I'll just... Uh, you a mechanic? Just, uh, no. Uh, I'm going to basically uh, run up to the final I don't know how many maneuvers that would be. Uh, oh, he looks like so already. And where, who's at the pilot's seat right now? Got Flint, Riker, uh, crap. Um, I'm going to walk up to Riker and say, I can't from this person help if you'd like. Wait, what is that? If you don't think you can handle this, I can ask for some help and we could be here shortly. Do I look like the kind of person to ask for help from, uh, Imperials? I don't I think know, so. I don't know, I'm asking you if you need help. You don't have to ask. I'm asking you, do I look like that kind of guy? Uh, he's just being a jackass as he's. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at there. How much like are there any like flashing like the signals all over like the console? Does it look like we're taking that much damage? Yeah, you we're guys, are, you guys are getting hit pretty good. Yeah, we're not great. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna point to the console. I, I'll, I'll uh, send word, and then I'll, I guess I'll start activating the. Uh, uh, Sorry, the, the transponder codes. Okay. Mayday! Mayday! They're well, I have a question. Since, um, 
Riker and I have a comm hooked up. Would we hear? Would I hear any of this? Um, I don't think so. They're not pushing a communication button at this point. They don't have open comms all the time. All right. So I will just. All right. When Imperials show up, it's gonna get a little rough. Mm -hmm. Uh, Geraldo is still holding the comm channel thing. Would he hear it? You had the comms open. You, pro well, you're broadcasting though. You're not listening. Borden's behind me. Wouldn't I hear him? No, Bo still? yeah, you would I'm... hear Borden, of course. Oh, I'd be like, listen, we got a Wookie on this ship. You really want to bring the Imperials out here? I, I just gesture back towards the console with all like the distress. It's your funeral, but since I'm on this ship and I don't want to die, I think... I'm gonna go into Kashyyyk. We've said Wookie. Chances are, if he's been on Tatooine that long, I don't think we can. So, Borden, you have activated your transponder communication? Yeah. Okay. So that signal is sent. You guys are broadcasting. Okay. So, who was up next? It was... Tiki, you're piloting. Uh, and the two gunners have already shot? Um, well, we're still going in order. So it was Krell, you're up next, and then Trog. Trog accidentally went. What? No, PC slots are like nebulous. You can do them when you want. Nope. No, what, no, once no, once exactly. the order is set, it that's the NPC order. It stays there. It's only the it's only initially, only initially that they get set. Right. Well, that's not sure. I'll look at the rule later. But yeah, right, uh, I'm gonna try to throttle up once more. Get going. I think we're at max speed, aren't we? Right. Yeah, you guys are at max speed now. So you guys are ripping her up. No, actually, you know what, Trog, I want you to look that up in case I'm reading some... Because I, I, because I, found, sure. I found once already that I've been following the beginner game rules. I didn't realize that they changed it for the regular rules. Yeah, so, like, the way it works is, and I'm, I'm like, 100% on this, is, like, NPC slots are there to use. If somebody can argue why they would go first or whatever, like, that the NPC slots are NPC slots, not necessarily, like, numbered. So if, if we are in order and somebody wants to do something out of turn, NPCs go before PCs and then so on. You see, I always know... I yeah, always, I the, N, the NPC slots are set. I think the PC slots are ambiguous, that you guys can do what you wish within them. And my understanding was that after the initial run through, there, then the slots are set and you continue to follow the order after that. Yeah, that was uh, my understanding. Play it on. I'm, I'm gonna look it up right now. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah, just it. just find out for sure. But I'm pretty sure the NPC slots are set. You can't change those. Well, even so, I feel like I'd like it better if it was. Because that just sounds like a lot of. I'll take them. I'll take. Yeah, it. always changing stuff. I'd rather just stream. Anyways. What are you doing, Tiki? Tiki's up. Oh, uh, fighter plate. Okay, I just want to point out, Tiki, with your boost dice last time looking. As these ships go screaming by, you clearly see the Black Sun symbol on their on their sides of their wings. <laughs> Alrighty then, looks like we got ourselves a fight. So, uh... I'd go ahead and call over comms. What are we doing, crew? Fight or flight? Am I getting out of here or am I getting attack position? I get into attack position. We aren't backing down from a fight. All right, I'd fucking try to do a fancy little flip, get this ship around and on their tails instead of um, the, uh, them on us. Okay, so you're attempting to gain the advantage, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, let's all look at the rules for that because I'm not Joe. Gaining, gaining the advantage. That's a piloting check. Yeah, I got you. Gain the advantage. Let me find it. I literally just. Alright, so this action the pilot ignores all penalty imposed by his own and his opponent's use of evasive. In addition, the pilot also chooses you get to choose which defense zone you hit. Huh? You get to choose which defense zone you hit. So therefore you can be like you can say you want to hit the aft defense zone because they have no shields there. Well essentially let's look at it logically. 
he wants to roll the ship over backwards. 180 arc it back and be pointing directly at them, is how I see it. Yeah, he yeah, wants to be pointing uh, at the back. So, so we know that he's shooting at their ass. Yes. So he's gaining the advantage on an aft point. Yep. So, awesome. Is that your action? Yes, sir. I'm just trying to line up the guns, uh, your guys' guns. Cause... Well, for your maneuver, do you want to do um, evasive maneuvers or something? Because you still have a maneuver, you could do like you could stay on target or evasive maneuvers. Try to line up a shot for you guys, or yeah, if you want to, yeah, here's what you can. Yeah, if you stay on you target, that gives them a boost dice. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. What I want to do then? Take these guys out as quick as possible. Actually, Oops, no, it's even better. It upgrades the ability. It upgrades every time. I was wrong. Um, the podcast that I listen to handles it differently, but no, it's uh, in the first round where you select initiative, if multiple players roll the same thing, you can pick who goes, but once the order is assigned, yeah, it's assigned. Yeah, that's what we're yeah. doing. Okay, that's yeah. a, so we're doing it right then. Right. Mm -hmm. Everyone stay stays target. in order. Stay, stay on target. Let's do it. So he still has to roll a piloting check, though. What's the difficulty? It's still going to be two. it's still going to be average piloting. I don't think you have to roll piloting. It's a maneuver. Oh wait, um, look. stay on target or? Oh yeah, stay on um for um. Oh yeah, you're right for this any is, advantage. You this is honestly like targets. what our, our second real combat experience because I I never play yeah. it because there's so much. So let's work with it together so we can all figure it out. Oh yeah, definitely. It's all figured out. So he's rolling this for gain the advantage. Stay on targets and maneuvers. You, <laughs> so you got her. You got her. You you you. I'm having fun with this. Ro rolling the models okay. to get the the whole feel of it. You know. So oh yeah, I, I mean the rules are silly, but like I feel like it's a lot more epic when it's like we actually visualize what's happening. And everyone's doing stuff. And so here's TK, cool. like like a champ. I'm just gonna. Hey, by the, the way, we can roll the barrel roll out. We can only get the upgrade on when we're shooting against one ship. Do you choose ship one or ship two? Uh, which do I know? Which one you guys were focusing on? The first one. Well, place? all you know is that ship two is the one that blew, uh, bombed our asses, and ship one is the one that was shooting the laser shield. Uh, that means the rockets on number two are already expelled, right? There's six rockets used for one. Oh, shit. But it's slow firing, so you know that he can't use it this turn. Yeah, let's let's attack the laser Kanta, then. Well, the rocket guy can attack us next turn. Well, he can attack they, us this turn too. Don't they both but... have rockets? Yeah, they both have uh, rockets. Yeah. What one of this? And and the one with more rockets. Yeah, he would. You want to attack the one that can actually use them? That makes sense. Yeah. So let's. Uh, All right, whose turn is it? Trog. No, Trog already went. Remember. So, NPC. I thought we were back around. Um, nope, we've uh, come around. No, no, Trog's up next. No, no remember, we're... Trog accidentally went after me. Did we? Okay. So then it would be so NPC, then, then if that's turn? the case, yeah. So as you can see now, the Knight Sister has done a full barrel roll and readied herself, and has turned back onto the backside of these guys. <clears throat> okay, so pink guy, you're rolling the NPCs up. All right, you want me to play the NPCs? That's well, good. Well, I'm I'm kind of getting you to direct it because I don't always have the information, and I don't want to always be the guy <laughs> that knows it all. No, that's okay. So, so it's, um, it's cool if, if we have people that everyone's kind of specialized at, then the game just gonna flow way better, and you guys all become GMs. Oh yeah, I love getting experience. So the, um, these two guys are gonna be like, you're gonna see as soon as they realize that you're on their ass, they're gonna start doing some crazy barrel rolls, twisting and turning to try to get away from you. They're both gonna be taking evasive maneuvers. Okay. So they nullified you staying on target. So, so that that also gives them a black dice though in their attack, correct? Correct. But they are gonna roll their piloting skills to see if they can turn their ships around and bear and come around. Full arc all the way around you and see if they can come in a side shot on you. Yeah, sure. 
So let's let's roll this guy up here. This is the guy on the left that's breaking left. Let's see if he succeeds. He does. So this guy here now begins breaking off. I really hate the way that they have these models or the the game the things on this. But he's gonna take two strain for taking two maneuvers, right? Okay, so he rolls around. And he's now coming in sideways on you guys. But he is, that was his piloting skill to get into position. He doesn't actually get to take a shot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if he's not he, lined up for a shot. No, he, he made this skill check to get there. So he's coming arcing around on you guys. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Since it was like a risky maneuver, he had to take an action on it. Makes sense. Yeah, he, he totally did a full arc all the way around. And that was his piloting skill to break you guys, break your stay on target. Gain the advantage, or for him to gain now. Now he's in firing position on the next turn. Yeah, I like that. This guy here is going to do a full turn barrel roll up. Same roll. He succeeds. So he does a. He, you guys gain the spot here. As, as quick as you feel you have position on them, they take these ships. And uh, and I hate the game the way this stupid thing rolls the models back and forth and doesn't actually do what you want it to do. So this guy here, this head under here, breaks up and goes straight up. And breaks out of your guys' line of sight. Okay. So, shark. Rip. Hey, it wouldn't <laughs> be a game if I don't drop out of it and come back every, like, once in a while, right? Fair and enough. It used to be every two minutes, hey, but you, you've pushed it to every hour now, so that's good. Shark, now um, you can take the uh, co-pilot seat now that Science left. Uh, science told me to do continue to do astrogation checks for him and he gave me his uh, check he's That's trying to get a, a boost uh, to it um actually he, it's gonna be for astrogation it's gonna be difficult because our ship is taking damage it gets upgraded when your ship takes any damage and then if you go over half it turns into daunt but he still has a boost though yeah he still has a boost okay roll it up And those numbers are just, they're not going in. <laughs> still get to nope. boost boost next time. But it's still a fail. Rip. Alright. Now, who's up? Back to well, the NPC. Well, Mr. Max here, can I... I jumped on that one. Kind of, like Mr. Max, take support? the next slot. Can I provide any... I'm not really good at combat. Engineer. Dude, you can be our engineer. I'm really great at engineer either. Well, are you? In, you have good intelligence. What's your right? What's your intelligence? Essentially, I see uh, C-3PO standing there as the ship's getting rocked, kind of dancing back and forth. Oh my! You know, That's exactly <laughs> what I would say. <laughs> oh! oh. If you have like good computers, uh, you could attempt to jam them. Not really with the computers. I I was attempting to talk to them. Hail you could them, try to but talk to them. Hails. Uh, okay. Well, we hailed them and they didn't respond. Oh yeah, you're we right. Trying to hail them What's again. your leadership? Or if you have good perception, you can use scanners. So you guys know what Wolfface yeah. actually does? Warface? Wolfface. Um, it's like planning strategies. I've never used it. All right, so leadership. What would that be? That would be uh, presence. A role. Okay, so uh, three. What's your skill on it? Be high. Three on presence. So um, you have three in presence, but what's your actual? Do you have a skill in? Yeah. Do you have any ranks? No, not really. 
Well, make it, you can make a difficult leadership check, and you'd be like directing. Do you have a higher intelligence? Is the question. What's your okay? I got well, I got two uh, ranks. I got endurance, enduring, and grit, which is pretty. Uh, those are those are career, career, career those skills. Are special. Those are talents. Oh, got you, got you. What are ranks are your... like when you you get yellow die? His his character sheet's fucked up. He doesn't have, I think, some of that. I get uh, two yellow die for deception, and two yellow die for charm, one for coercion, one for leadership, one yep. for negotiation, um, and one for streetwise. One wise. yellow, two green. For leadership. Do you want to make that check? Hmm. You want to try to... Or you'd be like guiding us. You'd be like, hey, they're right there. Focus your fire, shit like that. Yeah, whatever you could use help with. All right, but yeah, I'd roll one yellow, two green, and three purple for spotting the ships and, and helping yeah, out before they attack to, again. You're trying to basically the way the game describes it is like you're helping us. Okay, um, I want to be helpful. You know, I just I feel like I'm sitting around doing nothing. You help me. No, you're fine. It's yeah, you are like giving us tactics. I'm rolling this right here. Here we go. Yep. Good luck. Uh, you do succeed with three threat. So who do you want to help out? Uh, let's help the uh, gunner. All right, me or which one? I feel like you should Jack Arar probably. Jack Arar, man. Dude. Let's help the gunner. Help out Jack. All right. See, so narratively, what do you do? I say they're coming around. Shoot them, dogface. Do you, know, right? you know, nobody calls me dogface, but my mom. But yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so that boy gets a boost on that. Check. Cool. And sh- so, shark, have you gone? Uh, not yet, no. That was the last the... slot. Alright, then let me add... Oh, shit. I thought the NPC still has to go. No, they went we, already. Uh, they we, went. we prematurely... Oh, no, both, both NPCs? Okay. Both NPCs, you're oh, up. Rip. Uh, in that case, uh, Geraldo will pick up the comms once more, and he'll speak over, and he'll say, He's right, and their shields are appear to be down. This is your chance. Blast them out of the space. Almost said blast them out of the sky. Rip. <laughs> uh, I appear to be disconnected again. Can someone roll, I'll roll three you. green, one yellow? Two purple uh, and a blue? Or... Uh, do we Ooh. all get an advantage for some reason? Three no, success. Uh one advantage three success so um because you had an additional two success you can give it to two uh i would give it to uh one more the gunners two yeah one more boost to trog and the other boost to krell Krell. okay awesome because okay all right well What are you doing, board? Okay, as um, as a side note, as you guys are sitting here, you guys hear a scream of uh, a secondary group of ships coming in. And also you see green laser fire erupt, starts blasting the headhunters. As you look over your shoulder, you're like, what the hell? A bunch of TIE fighters come flying, and they're, they're like rolling in, and they're screaming by, and they're blasting green laser fire, shooting at the headhunters. Well... Uh, those tire fighters will not be around for long. Main man Krell is gonna make sure of that. Apparently, it's giving you guys a giving you guys a chance to get away now. At this point, as the headhunters break off of you and begin uh, taking off, making further away. Mm. This is a debate here. I mean, why why would we even stick around to fight the headhunters? Don't what like what do we stand for against the game? Yeah, well, I mean, even it's even the if we sit, of it, really. and, then, and then there's two enemies, but whatever. Yeah, well, uh, 
if they're breaking off, I'm gonna. Or if the headhunters are breaking off of us, I'm breaking off and letting the fucking Imperials die. All right, I get out of the gunner ship and white sweat off. Damn, I, I had a stroke. Like, and I wipe sweat off my brow. <laughs> and I, I go up to. You. I feel like I knew immediately why fucking Imperials just rushed them. I, I don't know. I feel like that's fair to discern. Where do you, where do you feel it? Right in the groin. I think and that's where all they're giving you the boost. Okay, so what are you guys doing? I walk up and I'm like, I said we could have took him. We didn't you, need help. Are you guys Why doing astrogation? Are you getting the hell out of there? Or are you staying involved in this fight? Are we breaking uh, initiative? I think we're breaking initiative. Okay, breaking so initiative, getting the hell out. you guys give me an astrogation check then. Keep on doing it. You get a boost get? Ch boost check on that one. All right. Yeah, he takes my two. What? Why is this fucking important? It's, it's going to be average as um, you guys are broken your way for free now. Yeah, it'd be average because we're not in a rush. Uh, what was Science Rat's astrogation thing? Uh, two yellow, one green. Alright. And it will be two boosts now, I guess, at this point. You failed twice? <laughs> oh my god, please. And then I, I, I was looking for it, and I'm like... You guys still failed. Okay, Science Rat, you're off the astrogation. Get out of there. Yank him out from the computer console. Yeah, uh, you Krell, need to go come Krell is there. obvious. Krell is obviously angry, not because the fight was interrupted, but because we gave these men death without honor. Because that was not a fair fight. And I'm like, the fucking Imperials, always looking for an easy way out. Never uh, changes. Before I could speak on Overcom, wasn't fair to begin with. It's two versus one. Herodo we just were... walks past Lumpy like he's not even there. We could handle him, and I don't want to get involved with any Imperials. So, uh, he, someone else give me a second chance, huh? He, uh, he starts to recur his normal strut. You know, I've fought in rebellions before, and I'm not afraid to do it again. And I will take down every last Imperial scum with me if I have to. Right, Enough so arguing, so all, all of you. Get out of the seat. We're a crew. We're I'm... a team. We're a family. We're all living don't... here together. Shut your mouth, Krell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work with fucking. Don't be apes. a fucking pussy. <laughs> Science rat, get out of my way. I'll show you how to astrogate out of a damn system. Yes, whoever can do it better, take the place. I'll have you know, we were this. Who is this? He holds up his hand. He holds up his hand and he shows like this little little sliver between his uh, index and thumb. All right, we were punch this it. close to blasting. Four success, one advantage. Punch it. That's, right, how you, that's, that's how you do it, boy, Tiki. Fly on. If all of us Who's were working tiki? together, and we weren't bitching at each other like a bunch of hens, we could have done so much better. We were working fine together until someone called their friends to end the battle. Yeah, until somebody called their friends a fucking dog, man. Look, enough. Listen, enough. hang on, listen, dog. You be ugly, I'll be uglier. How about that? But thank you for noticing. All right, look, I, I I like you all, and I'm cool with you all. But if any little Imperials interrupt my fight again, it'll be your ass. Proto would just I... like stare Krell down. He look at his uh, peep droid. Look back at Krell. You're not a warrior. Why are you acting like one? Oh, I've fought in more wars than you. You fought in more wars than me. I want you to lift up your arm. I want you to make a muscle. <laughs> I want you to flex for me. Battles are fought more than brute strength. Really? Can you, uh... Can you shoot? Can you, uh... Actually shoot something? Shoot a <laughs> decent amount? But can you really? You look like you're a wordsmith. You look like you're a reporter. Sure, I'm you a may man. have been to a battle. I'm a man mean of it. that you fought one. Uh, I beg to differ. I I was there for the uprising on Andorra. 
I participated in it. Under him? I was standing lie. for the same principles to stand up to people like them, and I pointed at Borden. Okay, so you guys see the lights of everything. Oh. I could slowly sit here and narrate. It takes me forever to build the damn table, but everything screeches around you. You see everything pull back as you guys jump into hyperspace, leaving the battle far behind you. Welcome. I'm going to look at Krell oh. after he says that last thing. I'm just going to say, are, are you finished? Because I honestly don't care. And when he says that, Geraldo, you see me slowly fucking reaching for my shoulder. But... See your shoulder? Geraldo will immediately turn to... To grab uh, a fucking... He'll turn to Borden. Look. I have only one question. I understand that you are a marshal. Are you an imperial? Flat out. Do you serve the emperor? I used to. And then I chose this position instead. Nonsense, he's on their payroll, he's accepting their credits, they're all the same. Credits? Did somebody say credits? Riker <laughs> speaks up, remember the pilot seat? <laughs> so, Jack Rar, having tried to take a nap earlier, uh, goes over to his bunk and does like the cute little dog thing where he prances around in a few circles and chews on a little bit of blanket and wraps himself up, makes himself like a little burrito. Oh, I killed you! Fucking dog. <laughs> I just didn't so you chose this to laughing. leave the Empire and have become merely a representative of the law. Is that what you were saying? Soldiers fight wars. I fight criminals. And that's the way I see it, really. Except, well, a lot of the Empire's forces on um, domestic issues usually relegate to, uh, uh, imposing taxes and, uh, I guess, drugs, I've attempted to acquire a position that allows me to, I guess, have purpose and follow my only purpose. Any other questions? So you choose to enforce imperial law, then? Is that I correct? I didn't choose to enforce any law. Listen, I don't know if you've grown up, and I don't know, I don't know anything about your connections with the Black Sun, but I, I'm guessing you're not the kind of guy who uh, walks around, murders, cuts throats, and slaves others. And if yeah, he's not your person, employers. So you don't enforce the law as much as you do your morals. If the morals match with the law, then yes. So, but if some law is forgotten on the in the process of you know of me looking around and some details are missed, then I don't see the problem. My job is to apprehend dangerous. So then criminals. you're just a glorified bounty hunter. Then he's a bounty oh. hunter on an imperial payroll. Call me what you want. I don't care. Are you finished? Because I am tired. Herodo will look to Krell. You can leave. And they'll what you turn and he'll look to Krell. What, what do you, what's the implication? The implication is that it's exactly what I said. He's a glorified bounty hunter. He doesn't care whether or not it's the Empire's laws or if it's the Hut's laws, so long as he enforces the law and keeps things orderly. Can okay. you appreciate that? I appreciate that, but what I do not appreciate is us getting roped in with Imperial affairs. I do not want the Imperials bailing me out of a fight. Would you rather die? I would rather die with honor than live to be a coward. You would rather die, and have all of us be dragged with you, then. Look, we had that battle. We were not going to- Answer me. Answer me. Yes or no. Is- I- Hmm. Yes or no. That's a loaded question, ain't it? Yes, it is. But uh... there's an easy answer. And there's only one answer that matters. Look, I... But in that particular instance, I was speaking of... Look, you your life was on the line. Out of it, coward. It. Yes or no? I don't have to talk my way out of this. You're trying. It's yeah. only two answers, yes or no. Would you drag us all to our deaths because of your preferences? 
for an honorable one? Hmm. Depends on the situation, really. The situation was that we were about to die. Our uh, ship is in pieces. It's a little banged up, but it, there's nothing we could not handle. Harada will point over your shoulder to the uh, system. Really? Because that looks like some glaring red klaxons right there. Okay. Yes or no, would I... you drag us all together? No, no, I suppose not. <laughs> but... There, it's settled then. He's with us. Look. No, Geraldo, won't you listen to me? Listen to me, though. Yeah, I want to finish my point. I'm saying, I know you agree, I know deep down you agree that the Imperial are scum. And I, don't, I just don't want to associate them. I thought we were a crew of ragtag smugglers and hired guns, dancers even. I just do not want to be bound by the law of the Imperials. Shit, we're I not a crew, them. we're a band. What are you talking about? Does I thought you were going to be my bassist. Here? And then he reaches forward and he puts his, he puts his hand on uh, Krell's shoulder and he looks him in the eyes. I thought you were going to be my bassist, Krell. Look, I'll be your bassist. But I'm no imperial and, 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 and your And your close friend Riker was going to be the drummer. I heard my name. And you know what? <laughs> That's right, you're going to be our, our kicking drummer. And you know what? Even the marshal, I bet he can he can blast a sweet sax beat. Riker, I got a question for you. Do you want to be associated with Imperial Scum? Uh, depends on the amount of credits I receive. There you go. See, I'm willing to dance for uh, a grand moth. For the emperor? I'll shake my your friend Riker there. He'll shake his hips if they pay him enough. My the Lord, he'll, he'll, do it, he'll do it if the laws say that he has to. If the Grand Moff asks I guess him I, to, he'll shake his hips. I get. I I guess then we have a different point of view. That's okay. Let's Aldemar. If if uh, what's what's uh sheriff boy's name? Borden. 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 All right. Listen here. If uh, Mr. Borden decides to. <coughs> Besides his obligations go directly against ours or our interests, then he can go. And that's the moment we stop working with him. I just don't like Imperials crawling around our business. That's oh, the do I. Concerns. I don't like seeing the Imperials. They've locked Let people, they've hurt people for far less. This ship, the Night Sister, is not a safe space. You can leave if you feel uncomfortable. The airlock is that way. <laughs> Riger just busts out laughing from the uh, pilot seat. Okay, so what's everyone else doing over here in the other parts of the ship? We got Jack Herrera's curled up like a baby. What's Borden did? Uh, like a puppy, excuse me. Uh, is there even a couch in here? Nah. I'll probably, he'll probably come into this room and he'll sit down like on a crate if this is a crate. But he'll just stay in here. So you're just sitting in the cargo uh, do hold? Do you see where Lumpy yep. is? Where Lumpy and uh, Flint are? That's a, that's a big couch that goes along the whole wall. I don't know. And then cool. there's another couch over there. Yeah. And then there are individual beds, too. Okay, so you're just hanging out there. And 45, what you doing? Well, I'm going to play that, uh, that's, what's that space chess game? You want a game of hollow chess? Yes, yeah, with the Wookiee. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here you go. Dijard. We're going to talk it's about... I'm it's not some questions about it's not game. actually on here at this point, but you can play a, oh. just a friendly game of whichever. Okay. But yeah, you, you can. Like chance you can, cube. We play chance cube. Yeah, you guys can play chance cube if you wish. But uh, ultimately, you guys are playing a game together. And what's your question? The Wookiee is. Uh, 
he's all ears. He, oh. he seems like a delinquent young, but... I just want to ask him, just kind of friendly, just talking to him, and ask him, uh... So, Wookie, do you have family on Kashyyyk? So essentially what he tells you with that <laughs> So essentially what he says with that is that is that he's of a noble family that lives in the deeper parts of, of Kashyyyk in the forested areas and the mountainous areas. Very very little uh, imperial presence. If none. I'm very sure they miss you. Is that who you're gonna go and visit? Your family? So his family is. He doesn't. He feels bashful, but his family is actually is is the uh, chief and chieftain's wife of the village. He's actually the chieftain's son. You slapped a prince, bitch. <laughs> If you're the prince of Kashyyyk, why did you leave? Why did you leave Kashyyyk? <laughs> he's not the he's not the prince of 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 Kashyyyk. He's he is the son of a noble of a of a chieftain of a village, hardly royalty, on Kashyyyk. But yes, he is a higher stature in his village. I left because. I wanted to see the world. I didn't want to be part of this Imperial stuff. I found a way off the planet, I escaped, and I was able to make way, and I feel it's time to return and help my family. Well, that's good. Nothing is more important than family. All I have is Jack Harar and these, this motley crew aboard the Night Sister. And why was that's I hit? <laughs> the the crew sometimes have arguments and misunderstandings. I'm sure it was a misunderstanding. We don't trust people very well. And trust has to be earned, not given. But by playing this game and talking to me, I hope we can learn to trust each other and maybe you could be part of our family. Well, I am thankful for your giving me a ride back. Although it's been rough from the start, no one would take me on. No one has no desire to, to travel to Kashyyyk. I'm ha grateful that you guys are willing to do so. But may I ask, 2,000 credits is... Nobody would even look at me. Why would your crew take that? It's money talks. <laughs> As you can see, the ship isn't exactly uh, a high-class freight liner. We could use the money to fix the ship and we're currently and some sparks for a job. like fly from overhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's as cash or grass. Yes. We well in our village we have a technician. He is the best amongst the Wookiees. And he'll be able to bring this ship up to its tip top shape. I'm sure we'll be able to give you a little more than what I can offer in my measly two thousand credits. You should receive something. My family is more than happy to oblige people that are willing to help us out. Let's let's continue our game. Certainly. I believe I have you cornered. Ah. And so we continue the game. So we continue playing this game. That's that's all the dialogue I'm going to have with him. Continue okay. playing the game. Okay, back over to the other rough and tough crew. Unless you guys want to just kill away six days and everyone's kind of just chills and we just continue on. Oh, this is six days? Oh, it's a six day travel. Well, then we might as well just role play for the rest of the session. Please? I mean, we could just, if you guys have nothing to say, we can just kind of bomb forward and drop into Kashyyyk and, or approach to Kashyyyk and we'll stop it there or we can just role play this out and end it here and leaves it open for ep for uh, epic words though right I suppose yeah yep I say we just keep doing role play here for a while and then we'll okay. get bored with that so I'm oh. gonna I'm gonna call the game right here 
because I think now we're going to talk about epic words and there's a lot of room for dialogue here on the forums for the next week. Excellent. Well, thank Very you nice. so much, Yodex. Yep, good yes. session. <laughs>